Hey, what's go what's going on, guys? Welcome to another stream. Uh, we got some Watt mission to do today, and I'm planning on doing a live guide like I did last time. Uh, uh, the last Watt mission that I did about a month ago. Uh, this is going to be version 2 of the Watt mission guide. Last time, I kind of screwed up and uh, forgot about the team's placement. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see uh, in a bit. Uh, but for the time being, uh, let's see what we have today. Okay. All right, so we got some uh, some decent crystals, 90 crystals. I climbed a little bit, fell out of uh, top 200. Uh, but I was able to do like two battles and got to uh, rank 154, but uh, fleet rank one. So something actually happened yesterday uh, and I got sniped by somebody at rank two. Uh, and it, it's a whole it's a whole story, but basically uh, let me claim this real quick. Uh, so. Today, today it's okay. So this guy, Pale Horse, right here. I don't know if uh, I doubt he's like watching or something, but this guy basically yesterday I was rank one and he was rank two. And right when I right, right when I was about to have my payout, like when there was only five minutes left, he sniped me down to rank two. No big deal. Like it's only like twenty five crystals, twenty uh, k fleet credits, shipbuilding materials, a hundred of these. So like no big deal there, uh, but also like it's I felt like that was kind of cheap because literally this guy's been taking rank one every single day and he's got the fleet that's almost impossible to beat or he's got that really tough fleet that I that I kept talking about how he's going to be or his lineup is going to be the new malevolence meta that I've literally never seen any other malevolence ship uh, fleet run it this way so yeah so like i don't think anyone else can take him down except maybe one person i'm not sure who uh because outside of me taking him down his rank only moved once outside of outside of that so uh so i thought it was kind of cheap for him to take me down after i took down the the hardest fleet to take down so uh, if that makes sense so i tried to reach out to him uh Obviously, after each battle, you can like send him a friend request. Did not work. I did not get the window to uh, have the option to send him an ally uh, friend request. So what I did was I went to the guild page right here. <laughs> so I went to the guild page. Hold on a second. I don't need offers. I'm a free to play. There should be an option to, to basically in the settings and for you to say I'm free to play so that you don't get any ads, even if it costs like five dollars to enable that. Uh, actually, that's a good way to monetize uh, free to play accounts because us or if anyone watching uh, that's also free to play, like we don't need that option to see the ads all the time, different packs and crystal deals. Anyways. Uh, so what I did was I went to guild search, looked him up, and I, I saw the, their guild page. And then um, basically here in the description, uh, this is not his guild, obviously, but instead of saying welcome to the dark side, man, they have 48 people in the dark side. Uh, but instead of saying welcome to the dark side, it said something along the lines of... Uh, blah 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 welcome and here's the discord and the discord was i believe their guild leaders discord and i was like okay uh maybe i can just add and you know how here like for some reason you, you still can't add anyone here uh so i sent the guild leader a friend request uh, a friend request on discord and then i i was waiting for him to accept it so i can actually send him a message uh, but then I also realized that me and him were actually, me and his guild leader are actually uh, in the same Discord uh, servers, uh, two different Discord servers. We're in the same Discord servers. 
So then I went to those Discord servers and I found him and I, I right clicked on his portrait. I, I clicked on send message. Uh, and then I told him basically, hey, can you uh, connect me to this guy? Uh, this guy right here. <laughs> the guy who, uh, pale horse right here. I was like, hey, can you can you connect me to him? Uh, blah, blah, blah. And to which, you know, he never responded. I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, not deal with it. Uh, but some, uh, you know, I was talking to Jax about it and he was like, you could just find him on uh, suogo.gg. So I tried to Google it. Uh, on the second page, actually his guild showed up. So I was like, okay, so uh, I found him. And there on, on swigo.gg actually tells you each person's ally code. So I actually found his ally code and I was able to send him a friend request that way. Uh, actually, no, I did not even send him a friend request. <laughs> I just sent him a direct uh, message and I, I told him about it and you know, I was being nice. Uh, but then he joined the chat. Uh, actually, let me buy a Zeta mat. Okay. Uh, I sent him a message and he joined the chat like 40 minutes ago. Uh, well, by the time I checked the chat again, it was like 40 minutes ago he joined the chat. Uh, and he didn't say anything back, so I was like, okay, so I just left the chat. Uh, thinking that I might have to just uh, hold on to my spot in the last five minutes. Every day until, you know, he get the message. He probably got the message, unless if he doesn't read English uh, or something, but I, I doubt it. Uh, but anyways... He's like rank four today. Uh, when I when there was like a few minutes left, I battled him. <laughs> uh, what's up, Rick? Welcome to the stream, man. How's how's it going? Uh, but that's just it, it's just what happened yesterday. Uh, hopefully, it's not gonna happen again. You know. Uh, but I don't mind clicking on the on the battle every single day. I just click it once, go into it, and just not do anything for five minutes. Uh, no big deal, just one click. Uh, but yeah, so today we got some uh, Watt 10 Boar mission. Actually, you know what, let's just, uh, instead of just talking, let's just go into it. Uh, pit raid, C pit. I was able to do like 100k damage. Uh, obviously, I don't have a C pit team yet. But I'm looking forward to contribute. I think at this time, my guild is uh, I was talking to one of my officers or I was talking in a, in a guild chat. One of the officers said that we're probably a little bit past phase two at the moment with full power, uh, but you know, people just don't attempt it. Cause you know, uh, we don't organize it to go, Hey, let's, let's go all out every single time. Cause it's going to wear people out. Uh, but we're about, I think we're at the place where like we can have clear it uh, for sure. So when I get Ray, I'm thinking by the time I get Ray, maybe we'll we'll get into phase four. That would be pretty cool to see though. I, I like being able to clear C pit would be really nice. The rewards are going to be really nice. Okay. All right. So what mission? Uh, my main completed the three stars so i actually can't battle here uh but i do i did not battle because i didn't think we're actually gonna get three stars here considering last fleet we only got two stars uh and we're like not much off 10 million off but still like uh i didn't think it was gonna fill up this fast uh but okay uh all right so today we got some want mission and we got uh well, basically, one mission. What is that noise? We have the Watt mission, and we have one more battle. Uh, for this one, I'm probably going to use... Honestly, I don't know. Did I get 4 out of 4 here? What team did I use here? I think maybe I got 4 out of 4 with a, with a super off-meta looking uh, team here. It's not even a whole faction. It's like bounty hunter plus plus general Grievous. <laughs> it sounds really strange, but that's what I used. 
Maybe I can start with that, but maybe I can just do the want mission. You know what, maybe let's just do the want mission. And I'm gonna make a live guide out of it, like what I did last time, but this is gonna be version 2 of the guide. Uh, this time I'm gonna go into more detail explaining what, uh, you know what, let's just do it. Alright, so for, for those of you, I know there's like two people here, Rurik, plus somebody else uh are here i'm gonna have to kind of focus here on i'm gonna make a live guide basically and uh it'll take like probably a little while after the one mission is done um but yeah okay so this is gonna go onto youtube i'm gonna clip this and go onto youtube so here we go all right hey <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's Anya here. Today we're gonna walk through uh, the Wat Tambor mission live again. Uh, this is guide version number two, as you guys may know or may not know. Last time when I made a guide, the order was completely screwed up because uh, GBA was here and a spy was here, Sunfag was here, uh, Soldier was here, Pago was here. But really, you want Sunfag to be where Spy is, you want Soldier to be where Sunfag is, and you want Spy and Pago to be on the bottom. Uh, What's up, Lich? Uh, this is gonna be a live, I'm actually live on Twitch right now, so if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this is gonna be a chill guide that's actually, uh, I'm gonna go more in depth than I did last time, so you guys are gonna know more of like wh what exactly is going on here. Uh, uh, so yeah, this is this is the Watt mission. I'm not sure if I showed this screen right here. There's, there's the man himself, Watt Tambor. Uh, or, or right here. Uh, I have him unlocked here on my alt account. I don't on my main, but uh, let me just show you guys uh, what's happening. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually, I'm making a guide right now. So basically for Brute Alpha, uh, as you guys see, by the way, uh, this is gear 11, gear 12, gear 12, gear 12, uh, because they're pilots. Uh, and Pago Gear 11. Uh, I have to remember, by the way, I need to rearrange them. You know what? Let's just re rearrange them now. So basically, you want the geos to be in this this specific order right here. You want some fact to be first. Uh, you want Brute Alpha to be first. Some fact to be second. Soldier third. Uh, Pago Spy doesn't really matter. The reason why is. Anytime when any geo does anything, all the other geos assist, right? So, can I ask a question related to the guide? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so basically, when they assist, you want having some fact here means some fact is gonna assist first, and his basic is gonna strip away all enemies debuffs, which you know makes it clean for everyone else to attack. And then Soldier, you want him here next because he lands a, a tenacity down. When he lands that tenacity down, uh, it means that when Pago goes next, he can actually have a chance to ability block. Uh, Spy Spice basic doesn't do anything, so it doesn't matter if you have Spy here or if you have Pago here. So Pago and Spy, these two, it doesn't matter where you, where you place them. Uh, that's out of the way. Uh, let's just go into the skills real quick. Uh, you don't GBA doesn't do damage. You don't have to have this Omega, but if you wanted to, sure. Uh, so for GBA, you want him to be fast. Uh, reason being, you want you want to reset these abilities as fast as you can. Uh, that way, when your brute dies, uh, which is you know the summon, when the brute dies, you can have uh, basically the shortest window to get it back. Uh, so you want to speed set on him and then for Wat Tambor mission specifically you can have a speed set and a health set For here. I have tenacity which doesn't actually do anything, but this is more than enough uh, if your guild wants you to switch mods if you uh, Don't feel hundred percent confident. You're gonna clear it uh, switch mods Use speed and use a, a health set uh, But here this is what I generally run with I have his tenacity set and that's that's completely okay, too because uh, I have not failed one I have not failed a Wat Tambor mission yet uh, So is it beneficial to upgrade to gear 13 or just or just not worth it? Well for the Wat Tambor mission specifically uh, there is a 16,500 GP minimum requirement uh, if you wanted to just be a Watt ready, that's where you can leave it. But if you want to take it to Relic, it never hurts. 
so for sun fact i went for all health mainly because all the geos share everything so basically well not everything but they share their health they share their protection um and actually let me show you my uh gba's mods real quick so you want the speed arrow just because you want him to, fa to be fast uh protection they share protection that's why i have protection here uh, tenacity ideally you want this to be health or protection probably protection to be honest uh, just because they share the, both health and protection so uh, but like i said you know tenacity is what i normally run with outside of the want mission so uh, you know you can do the mod swap thing protection circle here just because they share protection uh, as you see i try to get some secondary speeds uh, so try to get some secondary speed if you can uh, for some fact, he is quite tanky actually with all these health sets uh, and he does not have any terminator gain mechanism so you actually want him to be fast. Uh, well, not super fast. It doesn't have to have all secondary uh, speeds. Uh, but I do have a speed arrow here. Protection, as you see, there's no secondary speed here. Protection primary, same with this. Protection primary, 13 secondary speed. Nothing crazy. Uh, 20 uh, protection primary plus 5 speed. Uh, plus 8 speed here and plus 4 speed here. I sliced this one to 6 dots specifically because uh, I want I wanted the defense increase in a primary stat. Also, he's a pilot, so that's going to help the ship. All right, so Sunfak, as you know, his basic strips the debuffs. Uh, so that's going to be really, really useful. And sometimes if things go really bad you're going to want some fact to taunt and he's a tank with all these health sets he's going to be quite tanky especially with that six dot defense uh, he's going to be able to tank and when he tanks when he taunts uh, he actually counter attacks when he counter attacks his basic heals 20 percent health which is going to be shared with the entire team so sometimes what happens is you lose the brute but then some fact haunts your half health, your whole team is half health. And then he starts counterattacking and he actually full heals your whole team. So something to think about. All right, so soldier here, I actually do not have any speed, only 26. He does not need any speed whatsoever because he gains 25% turn meter right here. He gains 25% turn meter when scoring a critical hit, which means you're gonna want him to be 100% crit chance. What's up, Jax? You made it for the guide. <laughs> so basically, you see he's 91% crit chance, but really he's at 100% because he does gain plus 15% crit chance uh, with his unique right here. So you're not gonna have to, as long as he's 85% plus crit chance, he's gonna be critting every single time. And when he crits, he gains 25% turn meter. So he's going to be passively gaining turn meter every time when any geo does anything. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and for that reason as well, he's 100% crit chance. I wanted to guarantee that he hits something every time. So I put an accuracy arrow here just for that purpose. Uh, and it's, it's, it honestly works so well. Uh, Pago. This is the only other character you want to be even remotely fast because he does not have a turn gain turn meter gain mechanism like spy or soldier and we'll get to spy in a second uh, but let me just go into mods real quick he's got a speed arrow he's got protection to share the protection uh, as you see i've i try to have secondary speed uh, this is only plus five you don't need to have anything crazy plus 12 protection primary uh, protection primary to share the protection plus 10 speed plus 8 speed plus 11 speed uh, so 10 11 speed 15 ish roughly like that's enough to do the geo mission to do the watt mission uh, reason why you want him to be fast outside of you know as long as you're constantly taking turns soldier is going to be constantly taking turns and when soldier takes turns spy is going to take turns so you want to take as many turns as you can. So for characters that don't have turn meter passively gaining mechanisms like Poggle, uh, you want you want to try to make him fast. And I have him at uh, two, three, four. Uh, leader, he's not going to be the leader, so you don't need that. 
uh, this one right here, Separatist allies gain an additional 25% offense for each defeated ally. This one you don't really have to have because if you're losing allies, uh, you're probably not going to clear it. Uh, also, he's not a pilot, so it's okay to leave him at gear, uh, gear 11. All right, so for Spy, now for Spy, he his basic doesn't do anything, so that's why I say that Spy and Poggle, they're interchangeable uh, where they are in the roster as far as the placements go. Uh, so his basic gains crit chance up, which is nice. Uh, so he's going to be gaining crit chance, which is... Uh, you you want him to crit on the big hit, um, and so he gains thirty five percent turn meter every time when any ally inflicts a debuff on their turn. Uh, so what that means is if brute alpha goes, <laughs> brute alpha's basic doesn't do anything, uh, but then soldier assists and lands tenacity down. That's not going to give Spy 35% turn meter. It has to be the primary attacker. So if Soldier is going, and Soldier does basic and lands tenacity down, and then that's when uh, Spy gains 35% turn meter. Uh, same thing with Pago. When Pago does his basic and lands ability block on his turn, on Pago's turn, uh, this guy, Spy, is going to gain 35% turn meter. Uh, and as you see, for the terminator gain uh, mechanism that he has, uh, I don't have any speed whatsoever, almost uh, nothing at all for him because he doesn't need it. Um, the most important thing about Spy is to get as much damage as you can. Uh, I sliced a few mods and to six dots, and that's going to help the ship as well. Uh, for the arrow, as you see here, I, I didn't even put a speed arrow. Uh, I put offense arrow here just to maximize damage. Offense cross here as well. Uh, this one just happened to have 12 speed. If it had a zero, I would be okay with it. Uh, try and go crit damage, obviously. Uh, you want him to hit as hard as he can. Offense here, I sliced it just to get some extra offense. Uh, the rest, as you see here, no secondary speed. But what you do want to kind of prioritize is you want as much crit chance as you can get as much as much crit chance as much offense as you can get uh, as you can see here i have a flat plus 40 offense which is nothing uh, ideally i would want this to have a little bit of percent offense maybe even flat offense is is fine uh, plus nine speed this is actually not a great mod at all but it doesn't matter he doesn't need speed anyways uh, so there's the modding for the whole team. Uh, you, As far as the skills go, if you want to do the WAD mission, I would highly recommend maxing out every single ability uh, besides Brute's basic, Brute Alpha's basic, uh, and Pago's third, his leader, and his unique, because those don't really matter. Um, but yeah, so those are the modding. Um, we can go into the battle now, I believe. Okay, so every time though you want to double check Brood Alpha, Sunfax, Soldier, these three are what matters, the placements. Uh, Poggles uh, and Spy, they're right here, it's okay. So let's just go into it. All right, so in the battle, you want to prioritize uh, the high prior priority targets, uh, such as just anyone with AOE, that's what you want to ability block. You want Also, you want to ability block Sharpshooter, um, and these two event abilities, they're really going to help you. Uh, it's going to make these battles super easy. So here, right off the bat, we have a sharpshooter here. We have a surgeon. Um, medic, uh, you don't need to ability block medic. Medic revives, right? So as long as you're not, you're not killing anyone, you don't even have to bother medic. So we have two AOE, two surgeons. Uh, also, you want to kind of pay attention to your turn meter because this ability right here, Droid Factory, gives your whole team 50% turn meter. So if, let's say, my GBA is going first and everyone else is at 0% turn meter, it's, it would be a good time to use this because your whole team gains 50% turn meter. Um, and Hailfire Tank, this one, it, it lands a bunch of debuffs and 
this can literally turn a battle ar uh, around if it's going south. Uh, but right off the bat, like we have a pretty decent turn meter, so I don't need to use any of these yet. Uh, but I might though, just just so just just to get a, just to secure the win, you know, uh, and get the train rolling here. All right, so he's ability blocked. Uh, you want to focus on sharpshooter. You want to focus on these two AOE guys. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one of those just to get an ability block. There we go. Uh, here's where I can actually consider using probably the Hail Hailfire tank. Uh, it's completely unnecessary, but you know what? Let's just do it for fun. <laughs> like we're not losing or anything, uh, but I, I'm just gonna do it anyways. Here I can probably do a, uh, a snipe here. Eat. There we go. Uh, so he's gone, and now. Here is where you need to start ability blocking the medic. Uh, as you see here, the turn meter. I can save this for next turn because uh, Sonfak here is going to go. I believe that's Sonfak. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we're going to save it for Sonfak. Mm, or I could do it now, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just do it now, actually. Because why not? And here, I'm just going to do a third. It doesn't matter. Like, you could literally just do all basics from this point on. Uh, now I'm going to try to ability block him. Uh, here I can probably one-shot the surgeon. Okay, there we go. Uh, he does not have days, or he does not have... Uh, what do you call this? Stagger. <laughs> so I'll just do basic here. So as you see, pay attention. Try to pay attention to soldier's turn meter. Every time when any deal does anything, this guy gains 25% turn meter. Uh, so when I do a basic here with Brute Alpha, he's going to gain 25% turn meter right there. Alright, so uh, he's not ability blocked, so I'm just going to do a basic here. And it, the, it landed and Spy gained the rest of his turn meter. So just pay attention as you go through, as I do the battle here, pay attention to their turn meter and see what I mean by they have passive uh, turn meter gaining mechanisms. Alright. So just going to basic these two to death. And honestly, at this point, I can just do all basics and can probably even put on auto basic. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> Let's actually spread the ability blocks. Uh, do a basic here. One more thing worth noting is, uh, especially when you're in phase three, about to approach phase four. Uh, if there's only one enemy left, and he's at about, he's almost dead, and, and Sunfak is going, you can actually taunt with Sunfak. Uh, that way, when you go into phase 4, Sunfak's taunt expires. Uh, and then your whole team is going to gain all the buffs uh, that Sunfak has. Yeah, so just basic him for now. And also one more thing is, when Pago is going, if Soldier has only 50% turn meter, you can actually use Pago to assist Soldier. That way he gains he's guaranteed to gain 50% turn meter. So he's guaranteed to go next. Something to keep in mind as well. Okay, so oh this is actually different than what I got on my main account. Alright, so we have Shock T here, we have Eve Koth. We have Vanguard. Vanguard is a threat. He's got an AoE, I believe. Uh Medic doesn't matter until somebody's dead. Sharpshooter needs to be ability blocked. Uh, and if you don't know somebody's kit, you can always just take a look at it to, to judge their uh, threat level. So, chance to stun for one turn, inflict ability block. Uh, if the target is a droid. Well, we don't have any droids here. Sucks for you. Uh, Vanguard, we can see... Like, Hailfire, you can even use it every single phase. Uh, and still have it ready in phase four. So uh, if you feel the need to, you can actually just throw this randomly. Uh, but try to be more aware in phase three though, as you're, as you're about to approach phase four. Uh, here, I could honestly just do one of these, uh, but I'm gonna do a basic here. Uh, maybe I should have done the, the thing uh, because Brute doesn't actually have the ability. That's also something else to keep in mind as well. <laughs> uh, and Sunfag is going, uh, so I need to ability block him and also him. 
Uh, let's just go... Let's go here for now. Soldier's gonna go next. Alright, so Soldier's going. As you see, every time when, some, when any Geo is doing anything, like, I'm, Soldier's rapidly gaining turn meter and he's already going again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one of those. Uh, I wonder if I can one-shot someone. <laughs> Uh, this guy might be the closest to death. Yeah, let's 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 try to eat here. Okay, not even close. Um, it's okay even if you like miss drug as long as you have like a lot of terminator going. Uh, but now though, they're not ability blocked, so we need to ability block him and shock T. Okay, we'll do that to reset. And is that enough? Okay, there we go. She's out. Uh, he's ability blocked. Uh, so now we need to ability block the medic in case he revives. Uh, do that just in case he doesn't get an ability block. Okay, there we go. Uh, now let's just take out Vanguard. He and uh, he and this guy, Sharpshooter, are the most threatening ones. And if you kill with Poggle, you gain a stack of Separatist affiliation. Uh, you know, 5% more damage per stack. It's not significant, but it's also not nothing. Uh, but you don't have to focus uh, purely on just uh, trying to get as many stacks as you can. Uh, and, and for some reason, if you're like, if you feel like you're losing, uh, a, if you've lost a decent amount of protection, uh, or health and health, and or health, uh, then you can actually heal up with Brood. Uh, GB8, Brood Alpha, uh, before you go into the next phase. Okay. Uh, let's just do, let's just do a big, uh, oh man. <laughs> Forgot about Medic. I was like, who is that? That's a Medic. Uh, it's okay though, we're getting a lot of term years. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just take him out. Probably could have waited for Poggle. Uh, but it's okay though. This is where like I'm going into the next phase, so I could taunt here. And next phase, I will gain all the de all the buffs. Um, let's see if uh, in phase three I can actually get that, so I can show you guys what I mean exactly. Uh, but you guys know once I've had taunt expires, your whole team gains all the all the good stuff. So we have a sharpshooter here, Mace Windu, his shattered point is something to watch out for. So we got three. I need to ability block uh, sharpshooter and also the surgeon. So him and him. Uh, okay, so this is where I can actually just do the hailfire. Uh, I'm okay with doing it now because uh, I know that by the time I go into phase four, it'll reset. Uh, Trooper here, I wonder, you know what, well, let's just eat here. Okay, let's do... Let's do a basic ability block him. No ability block, it's okay though. He's gone. Uh, let's get an ability block on the medic. I uh, wonder if I can take him out. Okay, never mind. Let's do a basic here. And because Soldier is gaining so much turn meter, He's gonna reset the Hellfire cooldown really fast. Um, let's just kill him here. Uh, he's ability blocked. He's ability blocked. Let's go after Mace. So you see, like he's it's uh, the Hellfire on uh, Soldier's three turns cooldown, but it'll reset super super fast. Already two turns. <laughs> he's already back. Uh, I'm gonna focus on Mace here. Uh, I'm not actually do one of these to take away his turn here. He's also dazed right now. Uh, he's also blinded, isn't he? Yeah, he's blinded. Missed the next the next attack. Uh, let's just do a basic here. So soldier is already about to go again. One turn already. So when we go into phase four, uh, the hellfire is already going to be ready. So it's going to be all good. Focus on Mace here. Uh, yeah, it's already back. <laughs> Focus on Mace here because uh, I would like to take him out before anything weird happens. Because he can actually one-shot the Brute. 
uh, which means I'm not I'm not actually gonna eat here. I could eat him. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Because <laughs> I wanted to. Uh, if you feel like you want to save the cooldowns, that's fine too. But I know my my spy is gonna reset his cooldown pretty fast. So Maze is gonna go and miss the attack. Uh, I'm not sure why, but he actually hit him. He was blinded. Is that a bug, GC? Uh, CG? He's blinded and he he hit him. <laughs> What's happening? All right, so we reset the cooldown already. And this is where uh, I don't want to actually, you know what, let's taunt here, actually. Uh, by the time we go into the next phase, uh, everyone should have buffs. Should have buffs. Okay, can we get Maze out? Maze out. There we go. Uh, let's do a basic here. Alright, so it's working out pretty decently. Uh, want to save the second, want to save the sweep. Uh, do a basic here, should be fine. Alright, there we go. And as we're going into phase 4, Sunfax taunt expires, and now we all gain these buffs. Look at all these buffs, looks nice. Uh, what do we have? Ayla, Vanguard, or Trooper. So you want an ability block Surgeon, uh, Trooper, Vanguard. Maybe Commander too. Okay, okay, so this is not too terrible. Uh, as you know, you get different RNG for each phase, so Soldier is first, which means we can actually start with the Hellfire. Let's just start with that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, what just happened? Can they ignore Taunt? <laughs> what just happened, guys? What just happened? I have no idea. I actually have no idea. What is it? How did they get through him? Some lore. A twi like Jedi Master. What just happened, guys? I have no idea what just happened. Well, well, we just lost a uh, soldier for the first time ever. <laughs> This is gonna be, this is gonna be very difficult now, actually. Hmm. Wow. That just happened. Okay, it's okay if we, like, if, uh, for whatever reason, we don't get this one. That's so strange, holy crap. Uh, let's try to ability block him. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I have a feeling Fishboy might have ignored Taunt, but I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know what... I don't. I have no idea what just happened. Like, Spy Soldier was not the one you want to lose here. Uh, even if I lose, though, like, the same logic still apply. But it's kind of sad, though, when you don't get the watch shard. Uh, let's... Hmm, let's actually think, because, uh, let's see if we can still pull this off. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna go for him. Oh boy. Massive damage. <laughs> AoE, oh my god, yeah, we're done. <laughs> what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Well, guys, uh, first failed Watt attempt here, uh, but... The same logic applies though when you uh, when you do the watt run, and as long as you mod and mod your geos right, you should be okay. Uh, this is actually the first ever failed attempt a watt mission that I ever had. Uh, but yeah, that I think that concludes the guide. Uh, I'm gonna link two links below where I have another two examples of watt mission runs uh, down below. If you're watching the replay on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching live, it's going to go up to YouTube. Uh, but yeah, so every other time it's worked out perfectly fine. I'm not sure how they all ignored Ton and just went straight after uh, uh, Soldier. I might, I might need to watch the replay myself. <laughs> I'll be interested to see what just happened here. Uh, but yeah, that's that includes the that concludes the guide, uh, and I'll see you guys uh, next time, I guess.
Peace. All right, guys. All right. For those of you who are still live here watching, uh, hey, Jax, do you want to come up to uh, Discord? <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me go on to uh, streaming room. Where is it? Uh, there, there it is. Okay. Testing, testing. Okay. What's up, man? <laughs> Not much. That was rather unfortunate. I've literally never seen it happen. Never. Ever. Ever. Neither have I. I thought you had it. I did not think. I don't know what happened either because you definitely had the taunt up. And I did? Okay. That's what I was wanted to double check. I was like, there's no way. He had to have taunt. The brute had to have yeah. taunt. Yeah, I didn't see him not have taunt. I was really, con I was just as confused as you were, honestly. Yeah, and every time when I used Hailfire in the last wave, nothing happened. But this time, they That's all right. just ignored taunt. Yeah, that was that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Man, and, and it happened uh, during a guide as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The amount of times you've done that just to have it happen then. Right. And that's the first time it happened on both my main and my alts. Uh, but let's finish this one and we'll, we'll do GAC. Uh, but thank God for that crit avoidance arrow, eh? What's that? <laughs> I said thank God for that crit avoidance arrow on Soldier, eh? <laughs> or I guess, I guess it was an accuracy arrow that you had on him. It was an accuracy, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should bring uh, GG here. Because the bottom battles are closed, so this is going to be the last battle. And I don't think I need Royal Guard. What's it against? I totally missed. Uh, it's just a, a regular... Uh, it's a GOTB. Oh, GOTB, yeah. Uh, I could even put him and him. <laughs> oh, Cause, man. Because this is the last battle. I keep forgetting you don't have the droids brought up. You got to bring those up so bad, man. Yeah. But yeah, I would do I would do GG because when you do the droid factory ability, you can use uh, to uh, the middle GG, ability, yeah. right. yep. which is like not always an insta kill, but it it takes a lot towards an insta kill. Right. Yeah. I'll tell you what, having Dark Trooper brought up was a game changer for my GOTBs. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Like, my troopers were doing good before, but now like I can. I literally just control the turn meter. They never get a turn all four phases. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do. Oh, let's get a stun here turn. if I can. I was gonna say you could do the middle ability and reduce turn meter. Oh, does that do it? I have no idea. <laughs> middle, yeah, middle ability takes thirty percent turn meter off of all enemies. Interesting. Once one, uh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, this will at least clear like three waves. Yeah. Last wave it might get tricky. The last wave is so much like proportionally so much harder than the other waves. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do. Could just stun him. I could swap with Vader. It, it doesn't matter too much though what I do here. Nah, it really doesn't. I just like to get that medic off the field early. It's probably the one of my downsides when I do these TB battles because I tend to focus yeah. in on the medic until he's dead. Right. With certain teams like Downing Hunter, that's what I try to do. But like, if I have Empire with Darth Vader, he applies ability block on his basic, so it doesn't matter as much uh, with an Empire yeah. team. This is very true. Uh, could just cult here, but I'm not going to. Let's do a blender. Oh wow, that's so much damage! Holy crap. It is. That's why I, I try to blend every time I can. Plus, he's got the droid up, so if they do manage to kill the droid, um, when that droid dies, Grievous will take a, a free turn and reset all of his abilities. Yeah. Uh, Which, actually, if you, if you ran Grievous as the lead on this, I'm pretty sure the droid's stats are based off of your lead stats. 
Really? Yeah. That's funny. If you check the droid right now, it'll be the same gear level as your Palpatine. Uh, as my, it's actually a relic. My Palpatine is gear ten. Oh really? Yeah. Maybe it goes off. That's weird because. Oh, you know what? Maybe it goes off of the. Uh, it might go off of the level of the platoons that have been deployed. It, it could be. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, is he taunted? He's not. Oh, okay. Never mind. I just can't target him again. Lost my where I was at. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. <laughs> I'm one Cairo away from taking Gideon to Relic or to Gear Twelve. Gideon. Yeah. Uh, let's taunt here. Nice. Yeah, I tried to use the third ability with uh, General Grievous because I know he gains maximum health when he does it. He does, yeah. Uh, so I try to get that going first, and then I, I and then I blend. Uh, I yeah, don't, I, I don't think know if it makes a huge difference though. If the turn meter reduction is going to make the difference, that's usually when I do right, it. Right. Right. And is there a po do you know if there's a potency check when he does the turn meter reduction? Um, you know, I don't know, but I can check his kit right now. I I don't know if there is though. Okay. Uh, it's uh I don't Well, I know the attack can't be evaded. I don't know if there's a potency okay. check on it or not. I think there may be a potency check on it. Um, but that being said, normally when you run it with General Grievous droids and you run General Grievous as the lead, but it doesn't matter because they gain. It, it's a win-win either way. It for all the debuffs that they resist, droids gain stacking potency under Grievous's lead. Oh, I see. I see. That yeah. So it's like you either gain stacking potency or you you land the debuff. True, and then eventually you're just basically all the debuffs are gonna land. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I don't even pay attention to potency on Grievous because he lands like two debuffs on his blend. Right. So if he's, he's always the leader, enemies. right? Yeah, exactly. You get like five enemies up there. If they resist three of them, you gain like all. Let's see, what is it? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It's hmm. it's okay. ten, ten percent potency per debuff that's resisted. I see. So it's like Grievous. I think Grievous. How many? Uh, Okay, so it's just target lock and turn meter reduction from that ability, but B2 does, like, buff immunity and something else on his AoE. Okay. So it's like, by the end of your first turn, you've probably gained 100% potency. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bosk uh, is not gaining his stuff back, his, his uh, protection back. <laughs> so yeah. he's super squishy. Ooh. Better ran a crew. My crew is pretty garbage. <laughs> oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, who... That did not reduce uh, any turn meter. So yeah, I guess it does go through a potency check. Oh, yep. Well, you might not get any turn meter reduction in this then, because these, uh, these dudes are pretty tough. Mm-hmm. Vader's basic is landing pretty decently though, because I do have a potency sound on Vader. Yeah, well, and you're running a Palpatine lead. Yeah, true. You could see, yeah, I was gonna say, save the cull. Yeah, I'm trying to cull last, so Vader goes first. Uh, let's just do that here. Getting some maximum health. There we go. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, what do we have here? Pawns. I don't like pawns. Mm. 
So the fish guy counterattacks. Let me see. If he if he's at full health, has a hundred percent counterattack chance. That's it. I wonder, like, do they do they even have a leader here? Like, do they? Let's say if it's a uh, Ayla lead or Ayla right here in the middle, would they all gain Ayla's uh, leadership bonus? Um. I wonder if that's what it was. I don't even know if Ayla has. I don't think she has a leadership bonus. She probably doesn't even. But like, I wonder whatever I had when Watt was here. If that, yeah, if that made a difference. <laughs> but it's that literally a... never failed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was shocked. I was like, what? Oh, man. <laughs> like, right off the bit, too. It wasn't like you'd done anything to him. I'm watching, like, that was almost, I almost saw that in slow-mo, and I'm just like, holy crap, am I watching a movie right now? Like, I can't believe that that was happening. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty pretty obnoxious, honestly. Yeah, medic. Uh, let me just fracture pawns. Actually, I could swap with Vader. Yeah, I should do that. Because he's got this thing ready. Mm, yeah. You can actually get lucky and clear this. Maybe. I need to ability block pawns, though. Uh, oh man. I don't know. I have to basic here, I think. And yeah, probably. And what does he even do? He has an AoE, I know that, I think. AoE inflicts speed down. Well, oh no, that's just unique, isn't it? Is Oh man, it did not land. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, could you get all your turn meter back if you... Call somebody? I was thinking about that, so yeah. Fran can go and fracture, yeah, but... Like if you... Know. If you fracture pawns or even the medic, and then next turn call clone sergeant over there or the clone troop sniper with his eleven debuffs, yeah, and maybe get your next uh, merciless massacre back. Yeah, I even thought about just call oh my god, this guy actually used the second ability. That's so weird. What's happening in this GOTD here? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> There's some units in this that I'm like, why don't we have this in game? Exactly. Even Padawan Anika has three abilities. But when he got older, he only has two now. Well, I was mentioning it to somebody the other day. Like, Holy his, crap. We were having a discussion <laughs> in one of the Discord chats about how the uh, Jedi Knight Anakin Starfighter and his... Uh, himself are like pretty much the same person <laughs> wait uh what was that who, who's the Jedi same anakin starfighter is like a mirror of his ground unit oh i see <laughs> like with tie that's fighter true. pilot that's, you don't true, like yeah. when tie fighter pilots out there you don't gain capital ship turn meter or your leader doesn't gain turn meter when tie fighter pilot dodges someone you know it's the same thing for bosk too like he, he's a tank yeah. in game he's uh he's also a tanky ship I was hoping I was gonna, yeah, but okay, there we go. Uh, what do I even do here? Let's actually, I'm gonna swap here. Uh, gonna I think we got this one now. And fracture him. Maybe you're probably right. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can. I need to kill him here now. Uh, now though. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's just do a basic. Merciless Massacre and then basic. Uh, one of those. Nothing lands. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is this even? Uh, is it worth or should I just base it? You know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, there we go. Because that, that gives an, a tenacity down. Yeah, which means you can ability block and land more debuffs. Yeah, and this time he actually got ability blocked too, just from that skill. It has like uh, a so stagger and a couple of other things that it a can stagger, land. Stagger yeah. ability block, yeah. What's up, uh, XI Lego Lasky? Lasks. Legolas. XI Legolas XI. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh.
Oh yeah, right, because XI is just at the beginning in the end. Okay, well that's GOT. Uh, actually, you know what, let's deploy. Forgot to deploy. <laughs> We're looking good though, that's not bad. 19... Yeah, 19 star bottom two stars. Could, could get 20. And... I think... We're, I'm, I think I'm good to deploy here. I don't need to save a team for bottom because I don't think it's going to open up. Yeah, I don't think it is either. I think our best shot is to hope that we get another 23. 23 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which that's that's quite a bit at this stage in the game still, but mm -hmm. I suppose it's possible. Yeah, we have a couple hours left, right? Like maybe yeah, 10 hours or like something. Yeah, hours. A little more than 12. I think it was like 18 actually. So I guess I can Ooh. go check. I got a Mark 7 Nubian security scanner from uh, the raid. Yeah, I know I did too. And then we got Mark 7 yeah. Nubian scanner parts too. I don't know how many I have, but I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, those are hard to come by. Usually when you need them, you need them. Oh, em. really? Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the hard one to get. That's like the one that if if you go to my my main account right now mm -hmm. if i was to try to bring the cls team up there's like three units in the team that need those yeah chewy and han are one of them right what's your goal for the account my goal uh is as you may guess from the name of my account is to rush galactic legend ray uh of course, it's slowed down a bit, you know, ever since the GAC change, and now I have to have a lot of teams, uh, so I can't just only farm resistance. Uh, but I'm trying to see how f how fast I can get Galactic Legend Ray. Well, I'm not only going for speed. I did farm up a bunch of other teams, but I'm trying to, at the moment, the biggest project is uh, Ray, Galactic Legend Ray. Um, at this exact moment, I have everyone pretty much some stars already, besides Amla Holdo and Resistance Hero Finn. Uh, but they're pretty close too. Like, got some gear 12s. Race Scavenger and Finn to Relic 5. I had to. <laughs> I had to do it for the ship, and, and in order to uh, be Tier 6 Home 1, also P Tier 6 Endurance. Uh, so now I can actually participate in Tier 7 Endurance and Home 1. Dang, I didn't realize your JTR was already Gear 12 plus 5. That's legit. Yeah. When I got Ray Scavenger and Finn up, she was only... Ray, Jedi Training Ray was only like Gear uh, 8 or 9. But I've been literally dumping everything into her. Uh, you know, I actually had a one of my opponents on my main day <laughs> set a Relic 7 JTR with like gear 11 uh, resistance units. Oh yeah. And I didn't think I'd be able to clear it, but I took, I forget what I took against it, but it ended up, I think I took us my CLS team because it punches up so well. You I said... didn't expect it to beat it, but I was able to kill off everything else. You killed everyone but JTR? Yeah, and then I went in with- And she's only two pieces of gears away. Nice sisters? Uh, is it just two or do you already? Oh yeah, you already have one of those. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I took Night Sisters in, and Night Sisters were able to keep her stun locked until I killed her. Once the plague went on, it was extra damage going right through protection, and oh, I ended yeah. up killing like right. Gear Eight Night Sisters with a Gear Eleven Asajj. Yeah. Or you could and, have brought like Thrawn or something. Yeah. Well, I don't even have zombies, so she was like killing <laughs> every time she hit. She would just kill somebody, and then because yeah. she was stunlocked for so long, though, Daka was able to get the revive every time. Oh, I see. Nice. Yeah, I was. I was like, you said wow. she was relic seven. She was relic seven, Damn. and I killed her with gear eight night sisters. <laughs> <laughs> so when she gets higher relics, she gets. Uh... Oh, increases increases deflection chance too. So that's against special damage, right? Yeah. Dodge chance and health and protection. So she actually gains dodge chance. I wonder how much. She's a beast of a tank. That's for sure. Right. And if you get her fast, she she gains foresight at the end of every turn she takes. That's the one thing that I will say is the one thing that I learned from that fight is she needs to be fast because. The only reason yeah. I was able to keep her stunned was because I had, you know, every time she'd attack, I'd have five attacks in between. Right, right. And only one of them needed to land a stun because yeah. under the Tarzan lead. Um, 
on the team though with a proper JTR team with BBA, uh, uh, she needs to go after BBA. While BBA oh, is yeah, going to be fast as anyways. That was why I took CLS in in the first place was because I knew that I could probably get BB-8 off the field with Han. Right. And I did because uh, first move stunned BB-8. And then I just oh. did CLS's little wave thing and ignored Taunt and went for BB-8. What, did he, what else did he have besides JTR and BB-8? R2? And resistance he had Stick Ray, Finn, oh, Poe, and Ray. BB-8. I see. Yeah. They were all gear 11. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. What an interesting first GL. Yeah, I just went for what I would enjoy the process of. Like, if I went for another GL, I might have just given up halfway through. Uh, but after Raid, though, I'm probably going to go for SLKR or something. Uh, yeah. Many people forget how good JTR was for meta. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad she's good. Like even like when I first started uh going after Ray, I did not even know how, how good JTR is until later on I learned. Uh but yeah, even like Finn Finn Lead can do a lot of stuff too. I've seen people doing stuff with Finn Lead, Finn Poe, and a bunch of other uh random resistance characters. They can literally run a train. I think the reason people don't pay much attention to JTR is because most of the end game meta JTR is stuck with Ray, and you like hardly ever see her by herself. You know, JTR. Yeah, like most of the content creators that are out there. Yeah, uh, solo they, base though does say that if uh, ideally you want to have JTR uh, by herself, that way Ray can actually take some uh, the rest of the resistance with her. Galactic Legend Ray. Well, that's the thing. Ray doesn't even need resistance. She just needs light side. Right, right. She's like one of the most interesting GLs to me, and I want to get her so bad just because you can run like anything. Whatever you want. Yeah, like <laughs> there's it's wild, and it changes the team so much. It's like bounty hunters on steroids, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but but like if you if you're like a just rushing Galactic Legend Ray like I am, uh. She can take, like, I don't know, Rose Tico or some, I don't know. And then what I have JTR with BBA, R2D2, and then uh, Resistance Hero Bros. Yeah, it's definitely a solid first rush because you build her. Like, I'm I'm kind of stuck in this boat right now. Rose where, like, Tico. <laughs> I am going to I am gonna continue the Lord Vader farm because yeah. I'm actually a lot closer to it than, than I think I realize even. The yeah, only unit right. that I don't have the seven stars, for example, is Enbo. And then the three Bad Batch units. Yeah. I've already got Wrecker there. Right. If you don't pay attention for a while, like, you're going to get really close to something and you just don't realize it. Like like what happened to Malevolence. For me, yeah. I did not even know that I was going to unlock Malevolence. I was like, okay, this is going to take maybe a few more months. But then, boom. It's like oh, next, day, next day, I just got it. <laughs> Yeah, I remember because I was like, dude, I think you have it. You're like right there. <laughs> I'm like counting. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it is Legolas, 100%. That's what I'm doing. My one account's going for C. My other one's going Lord Vader. And Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's, let's get into GAC, I think. Uh, it appears that my opponent already attacked. Uh, he's got 612 banners. So what happened last time, as you guys have seen or may not have seen, uh, the game, the blue stacks lagged out on me and I lost uh, the first match. Uh, I still could have won, though. I still could have won, but I decided to just, you know what, uh, screw it. I'm just going to experiment to push the push some boundaries. I could have killed that Padme team uh, if I had I sent in the full team, but I split that team into two. So I, I tried to see if I can, like, undersized this one and potentially clear the back wall but as expected he got stuck on my fleet so i if i killed his padme team i would have won uh but did you ever though. go back in and figure out what happened to mando uh no actually <laughs> i don't know what happened to you... mando still Did that doesn't, have doesn't or something? disintegrate I don't know. doesn't the disintegrate have something to do with the amount of crit hits that happen uh well, so what I had Bosk lead, right? So basically, you need to hit uh, uh, the weakest target 10 times. 
And normally, I just do two mass assists. Sometimes I even just do one mass assist, mass assist, and it's done. And by that time, I did two, and then it's it still wasn't ready yet. And then Mando took a turn without disintegrate, and it just fell apart from there. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, normally when Mandel takes his first turn, which is right after, uh, basically right after grief, and then uh, he would have that one shot ready. Uh, but so this time I actually did something weird on defense, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. But let's take a look at his roster. He's not much higher GP than me, uh, fortunately, and rarely happens, but uh vader relic five he's got a shock t team he's got a bosk he's got a padme team uh what else does he have he has some bounty hunters he's got geos he's got ben apparently uh i see chewbacca does he have uh cls he's got some jawas phoenix not too not too bad so going in like i knew he wasn't going to be able to do much um i was, I was on defense <laughs> so what i did what's that are those jaws on defense maybe maybe in the back wall but so what i did was i only put three teams on defense as you see here uh in the top i only put one team i put my best teams here uh just I just thought, you know, I just wanted to uh, switch up uh, the pace a little bit and see what, what I can do. Uh, so I thought this might work, and I put my Palpatine Invader here on the top. Uh, and it held for one battle, so that's that's nice. Uh, he did not need... Actually, that means he has five teams on offense, but he actually didn't really do much. Uh, bottom here, he one-shotted this. Uh, and in the back wall, I have Geos, uh, and which he did not even attempt. I don't think I think he's run. He he ran out of counters. And then for my fleet, he took he gave it one shot, and then he was he was out. Uh, yeah, you definitely ran this backwards compared to what you normally do. <laughs> yeah, I, I I tried to switch up things so it doesn't like stay the same every time. Uh, and looking at his roster, he's only two million GP, so I figured that he's probably not going to do anything uh oh okay so he's put his shock t on the top Ooh, i don't know if order. i can beat that uh how fast are they compared to your bounty hunters uh who who's normally the fastest it's not okay so this fives rex is usually the fastest anything. and followed by shock t and then fives is just tanky and the other two are offense based Okay, wow. so 264 for Rex. Definitely fa a lot faster than my bounty hunters. Yeah, he's going to gain like... He's going to... He's actually sitting around like 330 probably with his unique and then the shock lead. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know I, if I can do it. Yeah, that is a fast Rex. Maybe I'll just clear his bottom wall. Clear his Phoenix. 252 uh, for Shock T. Yeah, if you can clear his bottom wall on Phoenix, you can actually probably still beat him on banners. I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> or at least, hold on, what's he got on the bottom? So he's got Pat. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> How fast are they? <laughs> I'll check in a second, but I think for Geos, I'm planning to do... Uh, um, uh, what's her name? Treya. Treya plus, Treya, uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, so that'll be a good high efficiency win right there. Oh, man, this one though, I don't know. Hmm. How fast is Padme? Padme, I think Padme, Anakin, and Yoda are the ones you got to worry about. 221 for Padme. That's not bad. If you can disintegrate her off the field. Whoa, Anakin's faster for some reason. 235 for Anakin. He's not Zated though, that's probably why, because he doesn't get the extra turn with Padme every time he takes a turn. Yeah. What is your favorite squad to use? Um, that's a good question, I never thought about it. Um, I don't know, I, I like using... 
like I'm very familiar with uh Palpatine lead and plus Vader and Mara Jade. I I do some uh control I, I i like you can pretty much permanently control the other team with it so like a lot of times you can punch up with that uh and especially like in territory war and stuff like that i try to only hunt for like uh relic five teams with my um i can show you here uh this is my empire team <laughs> but i've had this team for a long time so i know what they do what what every single person does here uh and uh you can do some pretty cool stuff with Mar Jade. Uh, actually, not this team. This one right here, plus Talon. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So th and and also this is the team that gets me uh, that beats the last tier of Galactic Challenge as well. Uh, so you know, no other team can actually uh, that I have at the moment can beat the last tier of Galactic Challenges. Uh, this is like the only team. Uh, to be those Relic 7 Galactic Challenge challenges. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Yeah. It's such a little weird team to even be talking about Relic 7 or anything. Exactly. They just don't get a turn. That's the beauty. Yeah. Otherwise, if anyone takes a turn, even a Relic 7, I don't know, Grimoire Guard takes a turn, can probably one-shot uh, Talon and Marjay. And Thrawn. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fair bet. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping that once I get JTR to Relic 5, that'll be my fa my favorite. Because I know they can do a lot of things. I'm not... I, I still... Like, I know it in my head. I just need to actually uh, do it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here, though. <laughs> oh, God. So... What do you have to go with your JTR right now? Uh, can JTR even PPR. encounter Padme? Uh, let me do the let me do this uh, let me do the Treya thing first real quick. Yeah, I mean it's a pound for pound counter. Yeah, I don't think honestly, I, I feel like bounty here. hunters might be the way to go if if you can outspeed them long I enough. Can't. Like I just don't know how fast your bounty hunters they're, are. They're too slow. Bosk is like two twenty one ish. You probably don't even need Hermit Yoda here. That's what I was just saying. I don't think I need Hermit Yoda, right? Yeah, I really don't think he's... I don't think he's going to make a difference. I think he's just going to be dropped banners no exactly. matter how you swing it. Yeah. And then as long as you save the big the big AoE for, you know... Yeah, I'm going to be ability blocked, but I, I can like aim for Poggle, so Poggle is dead first. I do like that uh, that combination of throw. I can't wait to get Watt unlocked on my Hold on a second. Uh, see ult can... so that I can throw tank tech on okay. Ness so that she's never ability blocked. That'll make yeah. the, this counter so much more, like, so much faster. <laughs> and reliable. Because you do yeah. have that protection at the beginning of every turn. Exactly. I was surprised when I beat that Padme. I was like, no way. Because yeah. I didn't have anything else for it. Like... Troopers don't do well against Pad... Like, my troopers wouldn't do well against that Padme. I mm -hmm. could control the turn meter for a little while, but there'd be so many out-of-turn attacks, I wouldn't actually kill anybody. Yeah. Nice. I may sound old school, but honestly, the Armalic and BSF is probably my top favorite squad, but I also love JKR, which was my first Relic squad. Nice. Yeah, I actually just got JKR on my main... Janani Revan today. Uh, I've had... Okay, uh, I don't think I can one-shot here, though. I think it needs, like, one more turn. Oh, God. Uh, you might... Okay, now we're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 74 yeah. banners. I don't know, you remember what happened last time? Yeah, it dragged out for yeah. a second. <laughs> yeah, it, like, took, like, an extra minute just waiting for... Bre I definitely learned something. I think once... The way that I do it is I once Spy is off the board, I kill um, GBA. That's when I kill Brute, and then I just single everything else out. Because nobody else has uh, a big shot left, you know? Yeah, yeah. Besides Soldier, sometimes. If it's a Gear 12 Soldier, I've seen him one-shotting my Gear 11 uh, nest. Right. So I think, I is your Bosk the fastest on the field yes. if you put Bosk in there? 
Because uh, I really do think that your bounty hunters, once you oh, take two fifty eight, look at that. Yeah, I think once you kill Padme, I actually think you might be able to. Uh, um, and then you, so you can use your frenzy, get your ta your taunt up, so that they can't attack anyone but Bosk. And then you just go through, get your contract, and yeah. disintegrate Padme. And once she's gone, this team's actually a lot easier to take out. The only concern though is Anakin is gonna one shot me. 211 for grief so grief is a little too slow for my taste for this counter i think so here's the thing like bosk needs to hit the weakest enemy uh 10 times right so uh gmy is going to be the weakest so which means that i need to be able to ignore gk's taunt and the only way to ignore gk's taunt so bosk bosk's mass assist is not going to work and grief's mass assist is not going to work so the only way to get actually get contract is to use um, Mando's uh, ignore taunt and and Django and Bo uh, Boba's ignore taunt. But if Anakin AOE, which he will uh, before I before my grief takes a turn, uh, he might wipe out my those three gear A bounty hunters, uh, which makes that uh, makes it that my Mando and Boba and Django is not going to be able to ignore taunt. Yeah, that's true. So I think maybe I can actually send in a, a trash team and draw out their, their attacks, especially Anakin's AoE. And then maybe I can go in and try to figure up, out something. Though. What's that? I, I would have an idea for what you want to follow it up with first, though. What's that? Oh, just because once you do that, like you're going to come back in, they're going to have preloaded turn meter. If... So ah. I just, I think I can maybe just throw bounty hunters in there and at that hope, point i hope for the best yeah i uh, yeah you know what that might work if you get rid of because padme is going to start off with a kick anakin's going to start off with an aoe so if you can get rid of those two abilities um i mean honestly so their turn order anakin's the first one right mm -hmm. and i think so you want had me next yeah, it ideally you want someone who's just strong enough because Anakin's going to go. He's going to give everybody protection up. And then when Padme kicks, she's going to call everyone on the team to assist. Right. Which So if you just put two units in, one who's strong enough to withstand Anakin's AoE and then one who's going to die on the kick and just draw out those two abilities. Hmm. Uh, this Here guy also has a mass assist. It calls Anakin and Ahsoka. Yeah. Then maybe throw throw in three units, two of them strong enough to survive the AoE. Because the other factor too is you kind of want them to get some protection up. So the more the more units you have in there, the higher the chances Anakin's going to crit. Which as long as he gets protection up to all the other units on the first try, he's got to crit at least once. Uh, for what? The way that his AOE works. Yeah. So the way that the turn meter's set up, it's going to go Anakin, Padme, and then, like, I forget who the next fastest one was, but Anakin and Padme were the fastest two in that so order, right? GMY next. Yeah, so Anakin's going to AOE, and for every crit that he does, he grants, like, 10% protection. protection up or something like that. Yeah. So as long as he gets at least one crit in there, when Padme does her kick, it's going to kill the unit that it attacks. Padme attacks? Yeah, when Padme does her kick. Um, I think that unit would just probably die when she kicks. Because I'm, oh, I'm it, not going to send it it anything crazy. Will. The question is, do you want do you want two units in there? Because really, if you put... It's just a matter of, you know, gaming it so that you're, you're yeah, not just yeah, going to yeah. die. Yeah. And you can maybe, if you play a smart draw out, Anakin, Padme, and Kenobi's special abilities and gmy because i think gmy is gonna either spread first or he's gonna aoe and then spread yeah mind doing a roster review maybe uh i can't I, I can after after the gac yeah if you want to drop your ally code in the chat uh so hmm. it was definitely a tough one though he's got a solid defense so yeah 
I have like four shotted a Padme team before. <laughs> <laughs> As have many people, I suspect. What's that? As have many people. <laughs> I've found with Padme is usually I kill it first try or I'm not going to kill it. Because <laughs> once they have... This is a team that once they get turn meter on you, it makes it even harder to deal with because Padme is always giving protection up, which means you can't right. debuff. Like, they're going to hit harder. It's it's nasty. And she's got two Zetas. Yeah. Three. Kenobi has his Zeta. Uh, I, I, I said she has two Zetas. Oh, she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is Kenobi's Zeta? Uh, every time for one he turn. one gets critted, he taunts, and then uh, well, it's it's both. So anytime someone gets critted or loses, loses protection, protection up. up, yeah, I think that bottom text is the Zeta text. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm working Dang. on five accounts currently, so I'll drop my main. Damn, that's a lot of accounts. Yeah. What's your weakest account looking like at the moment? Yeah, you should drop your main and your weakest. You should drop your best and worst. Yeah. His worst is probably still better than our best. <laughs> Potentially. Know, my, my best will be a lot more respectable here in about two weeks. Yeah, me too, after I get Ray. <laughs> <laughs> what should I put in? Oh my god. So uh, yeah. I, once before I this I did the exact same thing that I'm planning to do, uh, which is I I draw out uh Padme's I draw out their skills first and then one shot Padme with bounty hunters and then I'll clean up the rest. So do you actually plan on using Phoenix? I I was thinking yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I could. You know what? I could. Cause you know why? If like if they use their ability and I am still alive, I can just wait to to wait for the match to end, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a solid point. Yeah. Hopefully, Anakin doesn't just swipe them all to death first try. I don't think he will though, because I, am I, he I don't know. I don't think he will though, to be honest. I mean, Kanan and Kanan and Zeb are usually pretty tanky, so. Right, and he's got yeah. an all health Anakin, so. Yeah. My main account, best and worst. Oh man, my worst is like 62k GP. <laughs> I'll review your worst your. Problem. I'll re I'll review your your gear six chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the way, right? So just send in a uh, uh, phoenix. I I think it is. Yeah. Just like you said. He like Phoenix, I don't see you really using Phoenix offensively for anything productive. Right, right. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm still behind. Okay, oh, dang. okay, okay. This is looking good. I think I should let General Kenobi go. Uh, yeah, I think you should too. Because he'll probably do his call to assist. The problem with that is if... They'll so, gain turn meter, right? Yeah, I, w I would concern. do it. Because they will gain turn meter. However, um, you're less... If, if you open the next match and he's got that call to assist, he's going to take out Boba Fett or Tango or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I think I just taunt here. Yeah, so Chopper eats it all. Yeah. Yeah, because the buff spread is open. Yeah, that's that was a solid open. Yeah, I think so. That's why they get sacrificed to the GAC gods, Legolas. <laughs> I yeah, I think that's all, the passion. That's all you <laughs> Even though it's a requirement for C due to Thrawn, yeah. I was the same way, Legolas. I literally just once I got the hyperdrive bundle on my alt, I uh. I tossed all of my good mods to him, and I left him at base gear 8 with just god mods and unlocked Thrawn at 7 stars and then never see him again. <laughs> Anakin over here keeps insisting that they're a much better team, though. 
<laughs> They're not bad. But here we are sacrificing them to the Swagods. Yeah. Like, if you, for whatever reason, took them to Relic 5, it'll take a, quite a decent team to counter it. And they'll, yeah, they'll be super just, tough to There's see. so many other teams that I would rather take to Relic 5, though. It's like a timeout team. Yeah. yeah. I, I had an opponent not too long ago who played the high relic crappy mod Phoenix game. Mm -hmm. And I took my like gear 8 with a gear 12 CLS team in and just obliterated it. Yeah, with uh, C3PO? Yep, I had C3PO at the yeah. time, yeah. Yep, that's all you need, and they go to outer space and die in a wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say this though, like I don't want C, but some of the C requirements on my alt have just forced me down this path that is really fun. Yeah, and but I actually I don't even know if I'm going to finish C or if I'm just going to push over into uh, SLKR instead because the C grind looks boring. Well, I hear they're next door neighbors. They really are. It's just a matter of which one I want first. Because that's what I'm like. I don't want to do SLK. Both of them are boring to me. Like Lord Vader is so much more fun just because of the units that you get along the way, like Padme, Gas, Bad Batch. Yeah, I'd be I'd be okay going after uh, Lord Vader. Yeah, like it, it's such a it's it's been fun to this point. And I kind of got to the point that I'm at without even thinking about Lord Vader until I was like in the final push for gas. And then I was like, what am I doing? I just do that. I'm over here like, I'm going to do SLKR after gas. No, screw that. <laughs> All you need is tenacity and potency mods and they're golden. Well, for who? Well, I will say this about Phoenix though. Once they're high relics, they actually counter a, a very good meta team a lot of people are not aware of that but 90 percent of the time i can i promise you it all comes down to the days on zeb's basic uh <laughs> sabine's zeta actually does quite a bit too the stagger aoe like she'll land five uh exposes and like that five exposes can land on the same person and just one shot him. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty legit. Legolas going for JML. That's a nice. long grind. Yeah. That's like one that I just plan on like someday stumbling my way into. Like, oh, look, I have Rolo, Hoda, and Wampa to seven stars because of other stuff. Here we go. Three seconds. <laughs> draw i think it ended on two seconds instead of zero nice there's only a seven second delay yeah all right so i think i just send in the bounty hunters now yeah i think this is the best shot you'll ever get yeah well first time using phoenix for something <laughs> <laughs> normally they st stay on defense okay here we go Oh man, you know what I should have done? I should have restarted blue stacks. <laughs> yeah, after just sitting static after... for so long. Oh my this god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, this happened. I knew this this happened actually. This is happening again. <laughs> oh man. Okay. GMY goes into stealth because of uh the thing. Oh no. Yeah, it's okay though. I think I'll still be able to manage contract. Uh, it's just it'll be a little harder. Yeah, well, now that you have the taunt up, at least it should. Oof. Talk about hard though. Oh boy. <laughs> I didn't even think about GMY going into stealth. Yeah. Uh, let's get some counters going. Oh no. Nice assist, why not? The buff immunity. Yeah. Uh, let's shoot a rocket at Snips. 
Just hope you Anakin's, get a secondary hit into GMY. And it's AOE. Dude, this is kind of crazy. It, it is, yeah. yeah. Trying to make Snips the weakest. It's the, oh my god. I know, it's just not, it's not working. working. Oh boy, it's not working. I think I just back oh, out. Lord. Yeah, I think I just back out. I completely forgot about GMY there. Did Jim? I didn't see how he went into stealth though. Did he steal that off of a grief? Stole it from grief, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm one character away from finishing JKL requirements. Nice man. They make <laughs> they make grief look kind of like fat and ugly. Like that's, <laughs> that's almost like like in that that frame of grief, Oof. that angle, it's yeah. almost like a a knock or a diss to Carl Weathers. <laughs> like, okay. I'm offended for um, him. So what do I even do here? Ah, I don't know if there's anything you can. Yeah, I don't think so. Like I can YOLO you JTR. Turn me you had left. But well you don't have BA Zeta anyways, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I was just uh, you could try a droid droid explosion on it, but oh, I see. The nuke G nuke GG eight team. Hmm, let's Please. try something here. I don't think this is gonna work. You got a pre taunt. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's the thing. Like somebody's gonna die here. R two or resistance trooper. That's exactly why I'm taking Crude Relic 5 right now. Yeah. It's like, I want that pre-taunt. I just stuck his second Zeta on yesterday. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to bring the Resistance Hero Bros. Uh, but for the time being, they're not they're not high gears. For this yeah. GC. Like, I did put some extra gears. They're not gear 6 at the moment. They're actually gear... I want to say they're like gear 8 or gear 9 right now, but for this GAC, they're they're like Gear six, blue gears. I won't lie. I wish I was closer to the ray requirements than I am on my alt. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, ray just she's she is gonna be such a powerhouse to your roster when you get her. Like mm. I think she'll be more impactful as a first GL than every other GL except for maybe SLKR. I wonder if I just should put just crew here instead of resistance trooper. Uh. He's still going to die pretty quickly, though. GMY, Anakin. Do you have his lead or his unique Zeta on crew? Lead. Well, yeah. He's not, he's not going to pre-taunt. Okay. I think I'm... I just go in like this, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think... I mean, it's not like there's much else he can do at this yeah, point. It's yeah. kind of yeah. set that experimental yeah. phase. I'm still holding out that both of my accounts are gonna get a win. My did yeah. I tell you what my what my opponent on my alt did? I'm gonna go in. What what they do? So he's got a he he has me by 1.2 million GP. He's got 3.4 mil and I have 2.2. And he has out. SOKR with the ultimate. Like he's got a maxed out SOKR. It's only relic seven, but he has the ultimate. And he took SOKR on offense. And I full SLKR cleared him, offense. like, really efficiently. Uh, who do I... Hmm. Use it on, yeah. I think that's your best bet. JTR. Either JTR or Haldo. I'm, I was actually thinking JTR or BB-8. Oh, yeah, because BB-8 gets the foresight all the Hold, time and Holdo stuff. And he has taunt. a dodge chance. Haldo's going to taunt. Oh, God. This is not going to work. <laughs> Well, that's why I said if you put it on Haldo, and she's gonna taunt anyways. Um, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What does this even do? Healing immunity. I'm, yeah, that's the. I have nightmares about that move. <laughs> like I've I've never used it. I've only had it used against me, and it's annoying. <laughs> Snips strips the foresight. 
I saw the little hand wave thing come up, and I, that was that was just as I had some PTSD over that. <laughs> oh God, Annika strips everything. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> the run ends by a pan me again. Oh wow, it's a lot of buffs. Was it was it Padme last time too? It was, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, before I get GL raid, there's not much I can do to a lot of teams. She's gonna die this turn. Yeah, now. <laughs> I will say I think it would be a lot different if if your uh, JTR was higher geared. Maybe yeah, not though, because like they get all that maybe. courage. Like Yoda just hits you with like fifty stacks of. Exactly. If they have any protection up, I can't even land the exposes. And yeah, with JTR you need the exposes to work. Damn. Oh, you, you can kill the Phoenix team at least. Yeah, that, I, I'm gonna get some credits here and and get out of here. Uh, what do we use? Do we have droids? Let me see droids. I want to throw some grievous bombs. I wonder. Here. I wonder if a Kylo crew, like or crew Kylo, could solo. I bet crew Kylo could solo this. Probably, yeah. Uh, at this point, banner efficiency is not going to matter. So I think we just put on a grievous general grievous uh, bomb show. <laughs> you might want to. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm just looking at a way to throw B1 in there to... To have protection. Yeah. Yeah, that protection, so it's so it's not really going to work. Or maybe, I have no idea. My Grievous is only gear 12, so it's like it's not like Relic 5 or anything. Like, what if they just keep on recovering protection? Yeah, well, plus Grievous does his debuffs on his base, on his uh, Blender. So yeah, and that's going to heal because of Kanan. Yeah. Right. Uh, actually, first order actually gonna do something here. Uh, let's kill Ezra, I suppose. There we go. Don't get me wrong. First order does have one good team. Yeah. It's just you gotta grind five other crappy units to get us OKR. <laughs> right. But like crew and Kylo, man, they're so good. Mm-hmm. So I, I mean, they're. Oh. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I told you about the old like technique with Kylo and HSTR phase four, right? Uh what's that? Basically you just once he's at a high relic level, you take him in with like a Boba lead or um a Sidious lead for the crit damage, and then you just let him take a whacking and then when he takes a turn you just unload with his third ability and do like you know 400,000 damage hmm. <laughs> you can get like 4 million damage in like 3 minutes yeah. doing that he, <laughs> you know what's funny you know what he could have done he could have done the same thing that I did he could only put 2 teams here and he would have won oh yeah <laughs> yeah it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have changed anything if you had your full yeah. roster that you had for defense yeah. I mean in all fairness though you, you did put you know, you put your normal offense units. You said it. You went for a heavy defense this time, right? Exactly. And that's why I don't really do a heavy defense. Like, I could probably get a lot of holds if I put a lot of the units that I save for offense on defense. But I just yeah. You see, the thing is, I did some scouting, and I know that he put some like tough teams on defense. So I so I like like with if I even if I had my best team, this is arguably still my best team at the moment with a, a empire. Yeah, the relic, relic to Vader. Even with this, I don't think it's gonna beat the Shock T team. I don't think it's gonna beat this Padme team. Yeah, well, I mean the synergy of that team because I run that same team on both of my accounts for my my Palpatine Vader team, and the synergy is just so it's through the roof. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Except it's not gonna do anything to the Padme and Shock T. <laughs> Padme no. resists everything and. Uh, Shakti has a cleanse. No, but that stick ray team might have been able to take out the Padme. If you had stick ray, you might have been able to one shot oh, yeah. pad the Padme units off the field under a fin lead. Hmm. 
Would it? I don't know. I feel like it would be sketchy though, because they are gear twelve. And yeah, when see, I hit someone, when with I hit that someone, that exact team right there, you could have put tank tech on Finn. Yeah, and then... I, I yeah, even even with that though, like I don't think it's gonna be quite enough, cause like when I hit anyone at the beginning, it's not gonna one shot them, and then GK is gonna taunt, and I'm gonna have to go through GK, and that's probably just impossible. Yeah, and maybe. they'll take a bunch of turns, gain a lot of protection, gain the courage stacks, and just one shot my Finn. Yeah, that is that is the risky run. Yeah, and that's why like Grandmaster Yoda with Padme. And the three core it's units, solid. Padme. It's it's solid. <laughs> yeah, and then you run Grandmaster Yoda with it, and it's just what was the fifth unit? I don't even remember what he had for a fifth unit on that team. GK, Snips, Anakin. Uh, oh, I guess I guess that's it. Yeah. Yeah. The four core units, and then yeah, yeah. That's that's literally the the team that I plan on running for my Padme C Pit team. Right. I was gonna do three PO, but I. I w I've watched videos of 3PO and Grandmaster Yoda in that team for C Pit, and it doesn't look like there's a difference because, like the the lack of extra abilities that you get with Padme, because that's what three that's what translation does, right? You get three stacks, it reduces your cooldowns. Right. So the lack of cooldown reduction is made up for by Grandmaster Yoda spreading protection up. Hmm. So like. It looks to me like, and the difference is, is that Grandmaster Yoda is a JMK requirement. C3PO is a JML requirement. I see. Yeah. But like the, the JMK and Lord Vader grinds, are, they complement each other so well. And you don't even realize it until you're doing like the, the undergraduate grind where you're grinding like gas. And I'm looking at it like, well, now I need. Grievous. Well, Grievous is a Jedi Master Kenobi requirement. Yeah. Like, Gas is a maybe a Lord Vader requirement, but Magna Guard is a Jedi Master Kenobi requirement. <laughs> He's also a Gas requirement. <laughs> Magna Guard. Well, yeah. here's your roster. Justin Dex. I see the Darth Revan. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, and Malak. I tried to I tried to beat a Malak team today with my Padme on my main, and Anakin missed the critical uh, critical uh, healing immunity, and uh, he drained. He was at like ten percent, and then he drained someone, and he went to full. Legolas, you plan on taking that Wampa any higher anytime soon, or are you gonna wait until after JML? Revan, Chewbacca, I see CLS team. If you're still here, I can show you my main and then my other account I'm super proud of. I see a Relict GBA. Oh, what do you mean you don't like Phoenix? You put a Zeta on Hera and she's gear 12. <laughs> wow. A Zeta, Zeta on Ezra. Hold on. It's probably the fleets, right? Am I am I right, Legolas? What kind of fleet is he running? If I had to guess, because he's on a JML grind, he's running a rebel fleet. Or it's a phoenix. Seven Star Sabina as well. Hera, Zadon, Ezra. Probably after JML. For the Chopper, Wampa? Kanan, Zeb. Kanan, uh, Kanan and Zeb are gear 8. Chopper is gear 10. Speed mod, crit chance. What's your crit chance at? Fifty six often set and the crit chance set. Wait, how fast? One eighty eight. Well, let me review your gear six chopper. <laughs> no, he's gear eight, <laughs> but missing a mod. What's happening here? One two. Oh, I guess you're just uh, swapping mods around. You don't need these mods. I see some two dot three dots. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just saw that too. I haven't seen a two dot mod applied to anything in a while. <laughs> this was before I was competitive. I see. You know, there is one thing that Phoenix is actually really great at. 
What's that? Uh, folding mods. There's six of them. <laughs> you can put 36 mods on them and not have to sell them. That's true. <laughs> I actually think that their ships are a lot better, though, than them as a squad. Like, their ships are... Yeah, they Dare have I synergy plug with and each play, other. But they kind of are. Yeah. Like, it's the, the one Yoda. reason that I've considered... The only thing that's ever made me consider relicking Phoenix is sometimes is during to have the Galactic a, Is to have a better, better mod holder? <laughs> well, no, I'll bring Phoenix in for the Galactic Challenge, right? Whenever you need, like, critical hits or something wazoo. Oh, because, I see. Because, especially, you know that one that applies damage over time after every, every turn taken? Yeah. Well, that triggers ghost uh or phantom oh rather. you're talking phantom. about the ships okay yeah, yeah yeah that'll trigger phantom because every time that a debuff is landed on ghost it'll taunt phantom yeah phantom gains foresight, foresight. and taunt yeah so oh. like some of those galactic challenges i'll go in it's it's the dude it'll have you on the edge of your seat because you're just you have to get like perfect rng for it no I, but yeah, i think like you showed 30 me turns once. in a row that the enemies will just miss Right. Because <laughs> it's like they take a turn, Phantom gains Taunt and Foresight. They take another turn, they miss Phantom. Phantom gains Taunt and Foresight again. They take another turn, they miss. Yeah. If they take one extra turn, Phantom is going to die because it'll just get hit. Exactly. But it's it's so much fun and it makes me... Ooh. Not to mention, Phantom has one of the best reinforcements in the game. Reduce cooldown by one. Not just the cooldown, it by reduces one. the call to reinforce by that's one, what I meant. so you can that's what back I meant. to back reinforce. Yeah. I see your nest. Where's tenacity? Ninety-four percent. Do you plan to take nest higher? Their ships are good with Han Solo for sure, which is why I got them to summon stars. While I haven't worked on Ghost ship for for like two years. There's yeah, actually they are really good with Hans. Solo. Yeah. Like I even consider getting a rebel fleet on my main account because my main account was not not in a guild that gets get two tokens. Uh But you know, pretty quickly I I moved. Um uh, but yeah, Ghost and Phantom definitely I I've had my fair share of battles with with those two ships. Good times. Yeah, they're like they're just really good plug and play ships, and I think they're great for, like like he was saying, Millennium Falcon, Ghost, and Phantom. If you run those three on any of those Rebel Galactic challenges with any other fleet, they're just, it's a really good plug and play like pollution. <laughs> Level one, summon star chief in a bit. Oh man, get that Utini bomb going, Dothcha. Do you plan to take Ray up and use Ray Jawas? Uh, so apparently, Ray plus Jawas plus Watt can get nineteen percent in C pit. Yeah, I've seen that. I've actually watched the videos of it. It's pretty comical. Yeah, but then there's a nerf, right? There's a C pit nerf. Yeah, the. So I don't I know how well they do it anymore. Bit before you and I started playing last year. Yeah. Summit star yeah. watt level one, uh, or six star watt level one. I wow. would definitely take watt up to level fifty, and then at least he, he can hold some mods. No, he, you Poppy? should probably. Yeah, I'll you could run watt with watt. like, if, dude. If you ran watt with your Malik solo, oh damn, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> like that would be nasty, man. Because watt's gonna put tank tech on him, and Malik is just gonna have a taunt up. You might not even lose your watt. Because <laughs> doesn't Malik Malik has some like weird turn meter gain when he gets attacked, right? I don't know how his kit works because I, I uh, when he I drops gassed. below ninety percent and like thirty percent and twenty percent or something, he gains an extra turn basically. Oh, nice. Let me see, Malik. He's a tank, right? Yeah, he is. Okay, so the tank tag is gonna be crazy. Yeah, he's a tank exactly. 
He's not going to be able to get debuffed because of tank tech. How many cool... What's Drain Life's cooldown? Uh... Wait, what is happening here? I can't see it. Hold on a second. Uh, so Drain Life's cooldown? He reaches that threshold. So basically, he gets three extra turns per match. Let me see, Malik. I guess... You know, well, it's funny. I've fought his, so his, many Malik, but I've never actually read his kit. His health fluctuates, so like... Oh, it does say right. It does. Hold on a second. Okay, so when he hit seventy-five percent health, fifty percent health, and twenty-five percent health, he will take an extra turn and reset drain life's cooldown. So you, he can heal back up to a hundred, and when he drops below seventy-five, he'll take another bonus turn. Yeah, and that's essentially what allows him to solo teams in three v three. Yeah, I think solo teams in five v five. It's like what? Right. I mean, they're like C teams. It's not like, you know, Imperial Troopers or anything like that. But but even then, he does do a lot to shut down teams like Imperial Troopers because if you can't one-shot him off the field, he's going to take those extra turns. Oh. Yeah, Watt, yeah, Watt plus Malik is going to be a beast. Yep. Of course, I don't know, because Tank Tech gives you protection back, but he doesn't have any protection Oh, so, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that being said, you could put oh. the offense tech on him, and he's going to be taking so many freaking turns. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot about the protection. Wait, hold, hold on a second. How does he not have protection? Or is that built into his kit? It's built into his kit. Or is it he under does dark? that thing that Nihilus does. He, like, converts it or whatever. Hmm, I only know see. because I've, I've fought a lot of Maliks now and I've never seen a Malik with protection. Even yeah. under like DR, I, under right. other teams. Like. Right. I I mean, the only time I fought Malik is under DR, so I was I was wondering if it's only a under DR thing. Let me see. It's not here. Oh, yeah, so it's built in. Hmm. But Watt's tech, doesn't Watt grant health too? Recover health and protection? So I I think it just, he recovers protection. I think it's 30% protection at the start of each of his turns. I thought there was now, some health. Now, offense, too. or health tech is like 5% health and protection every time someone takes a turn. Recover 30% protection, dispel debuffs, okay. Yeah. But look at the... Hmm. Is it, uh, yeah, the med pack. 5% health and protection at the start of every character's turn. That's probably the one you want. I don't know. I would do that weapon mod because he gains 15% turn meter. Does the turn meter really help, though? I feel like the... It would because he's going to be taking more turns, so he wouldn't have to reset his cooldown I as often. I feel like the med pack is going to give him more turns, though. Like when he drops below the threshold and he gains it right back, and when somebody hits him one other another time, he drops below the threshold again and takes a bonus turn. It could go a long ways towards keeping him alive. I don't know. You know I'd what? Because to... he I takes think another turn when he drops well. below the threshold. Yeah, and, and resets his drain life. Because you can kill someone basically from the outset. Because all it takes usually is two drain lives and someone's dead. Yeah. Oops. Uh, forgot I'm on Windows. Okay, here we go. Does he have uh, he has built-in counter chance? Uh, I, I don't think he does. Your second account? Do you have uh, Malik here too? I see. PA Troopers. Ooh, that's nice. You gotta get that dark trooper up now. Which is focused, but doesn't have a lot of squads. This is a pretty nice looking team, though. Yeah, it is. Relic 5 sound fact, Relic 5 spy. Range trooper, I see. B2, I see a B2. What are you after on this account? I see mm -hmm. Gear Tall Grievous. Pan me. Damn, being a 1.1 million account, this is a lot of teams.
Yeah. Well, it's a lot of a lot of relics, but it's only what three teams worth of relics or and, relics for three teams. And a seven star Kenobi. How long have you had this account for? Probably a year, if I had to guess. Probably something, something along those lines, or maybe a little yeah. shorter. My Malik used to be around 290 speed, but that meta has changed the while back, so I started sharing his mods. Hmm. I've seen people mod all tenacity on Malik. I have no idea what's the best. But mostly, I think being tanky can never go wrong, right? So I think all tenacity is the way to go for solo, but under Darth Revan, they can't be debuffed. Oh yeah, true. Right. It doesn't matter. You actually want the debuffs because when you get the debuffs, you gain Converts ferocity, which ferocity, increases yeah. your like critical damage. Yeah. So like low tenacity with Revan is the way to go. Yeah, makes sense. When, if you Those are the ones that solo. I struggle against because I'm like, well, <laughs> looks like you got to do it the old fashioned way. Right. I would say that Darth Revan is probably the most controlling team in the game next to Imperial Troopers. Controlling? Yeah, because they have fear. they have so many control mechanisms for the enemy team between like fear and staggers and shocks. Yeah. But then like you can do nothing to control them. You can't land any debuffs. Yeah. Trooper can also just control them though. Yeah, they can. Or or Padme, I guess. Padme's immune to fear. Well, herself yeah. her, herself is, but it only can... works with troopers if you outspeed them. Right, right. Which like I've been using too. my troopers actually in arena on my ult because yeah. since I got dark trooper to relic five, and even at gear eleven, gear twelve, everything else, I'm knocking out full relic Revan teams just because my Gideon is so fast. I knock Basil off the map right away. Right. And I then uh, see... <laughs> I'll win. I see a level one seven star chopper. That is the best use of chopper I've ever seen. Working on gas requirements at the moment. I haven't unlocked some characters for gas. I'm a person who doesn't activate characters unless I'm ready to work on them right away. I see. Yeah, I actually started that in December, Legolas. And uh, I just got my gas Friday. Level one chopper. The sexiest chopper I've ever seen. <laughs> Seven see. star level one. Where's Phoenix? Oh, please do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder if he has Hera ready to be activated. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And Zeb. Weird flex taking Ezra to seven stars and leaving him at what's that gear five six gear six <laughs> gear gear five six yeah is that gear five or is that gear six or can you even <laughs> tell when it's blue? I'm not even trying to roast you right now, but that means that you had to at some point go in and hit the upgrade button at least four times on him. <laughs> True. Can... I think that's gear five. It seems like both Ezra and Kanan are level 80. If I had to guess, he did it for the GMY mission. Could be, yeah, true. Yeah, Legolas, I will say this. I The nice thing about waiting, about it taking that long, because I had most of the Padme team requirements to, like, gear... I think I had Jedi Knight Anakin to gear 12 and Padme maybe gear 12, but... um. It gave me time to stack up my get one. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that on my main account because I'm not going to have enough get ones to get gas seven stars. So I have yeah. to do work on something else uh, while waiting for get one to stack up. Yep. And like my suggestion with them would be to take all of them to gear 12 and then work Phoenix? them to relic. Like work them to relic once you get them to gear 12. Get Phoenix to gear 12? <laughs> no. no, no. Uh, because the nice thing about it was I I took gas right to gear ten. It would have been nicer if I could have taken him to you know gear eleven plus five right away. But yeah, 
Hera isn't ready yet, but Zeb is ready to be some of the stars. Got my GM white mission done. Okay, just haven't unlocked him quite yet. Makes sense, yeah. I wonder who the other Jedi's were. Let me see. Oh, well, uh, Snips, GK, maybe. And Anakin. That's a power team, then you just run a GK lead. Yeah. That's how I finished one of the missions in Conquest last last Conquest, was I just ran a GK lead because he gives Damn. out like, defense and help. Have you ever seen anyone using GK to unlock GMY? <laughs> That's backwards. <laughs> I, mean, I, I honestly was trying to get it to where I could use CLS to unlock Palpatine on my alt. At one point, that was one of my goals. Yeah. I've never seen anyone unlock GMY with General Kenobi. That's funny. <laughs> Phoenix will have got to your mods at gear 8, gear 9. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Just are you planning? Are you planning to put got mods? What's that? Um, what was that? Just to not waste any more gear on them to unlock Thrawn. Oh, I see. Uh, if you wanna, ha if you wanna unlock Thrawn, I do have a guide for Thrawn. It's right there. Uh, you just need gear A and like. Even average mediocre mods. If you want to go check it out. And remember, Switch asked me to help him, and I did it in two tries. Yeah. <laughs> that was righteous. Yeah, and he, he had gear 8, and probably missing a few Omegas. When I say a few, I mean like two, one or two. Key I managed to do it at gear eight base across the board. Yeah, like level eighty, I think. Um, but again, I had like, you know, two hundred and fifty speed on Ezra, and <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. Cool. I'll definitely yeah. give you a sub. I would appreciate that. It was like earlier when I. I finally got SF TIE Pilot to 7 stars because I have a gear 12 double zated crew. I just went in and unlocked BBA 7 stars just, just to do it. Oh, you do have a Phoenix? I didn't know you had a Phoenix team. <laughs> for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And thanks for thanks for the follow on Twitch. Wait, I want to see, need... see your Phoenix team. Mine? Yeah. <laughs> They're they're not even modded. Well, they might be modded now, but I don't use them for anything anymore. Is this the only your alt? Yeah, my alt. Let me see your Phoenix faction. Do you have Sabine? Uh, you do. Five star. <laughs> oh boy, five star Sabine. Yeah, see, that's that's the gear level that they were at when I unlocked Thrawn to seven stars. Accuracy arrow. Sub fifty one. <laughs> it's a nice number area 51 yeah, right <laughs> crit chance what what ha what happened didn't people say they were gonna raid area 51 did that did that ever happen yeah that was like september of 19 oh that was, was pre it? holy crap that felt like yesterday <laughs> i know right we we've literally been through like two potential world wars one and huge pandemic global pandemic <laughs> An election. <laughs> another another proof this is a simulation. Mm-hmm. Can we just go back to the most recent save? <laughs> I hear Chopper. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> a, a, the, probably the droid with the deepest voice. Defense arrow. That may be true. Yeah. Yeah, I was just running him for the t tank or the taunt. Right. I probably put some mods back on for that one mission, but then now I just use my Night Sisters for it. Oh, wait, hold on. Did you watch my guide and then do it? I think you did, didn't you? 
I think I did watch your guide. Yeah. Um, or, or no, I was I explaining to you. Them. I remember now. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just ended up throwing all of my best mods onto my Phoenix team just to get the Thrawn mission done because I knew I need seven star Thrawn for C, which I might not even go for now. I don't know. I'm undecided. Yeah. I'm going to give it until I finish my Imperial Troopers to Relic 5 and then go back and think about it. Right. Should look at that Dark Trooper, though. Dark Trooper, yeah. <laughs> And like one of the C pit team is Ray plus Jawas plus Sabine. And that does like 10% damage in phase one. And Apparently, honestly, Ray is the queen of C pit. Yeah. Like, honestly, I might use that team. Like bring up some Jawas. I can put some Relic Jawas on defense and then like they'll have to throw something at it. And then Relic 5 Sabine within the Phoenix team with like a Relic 5 Sabine and Gear 8 everyone else, they're still going to have to do something. I feel like there's so many other things though that you could better use Relic, Relic 5. You're probably, probably right, yeah. But I really want to I really want to contribute to CPAN. That's the thing. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Cause that's, why, that's why I'm taking my troopers to Relic 5 because like right now we're in P2 in the guild. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's and, right. Let me track. Yeah, that. and that's where troopers shine. Like oh, they could look. get to phase two without, and me just hold my stuff until we get to phase two, and then go in and smack. Yeah, HSTR. By the way, <laughs> maybe yeah, I, I can finally. That. I'm gonna set an alarm for that because I have three. Or I have four quests that require me to participate in HSTR. This will be the first HSTR that we've done since I got my Dark Trooper Relic Five. And this will be my first time trying HSTR in a month. Maybe more. <laughs> yeah, I was the same way, Legolas, until they made him double drop. And then as soon as they started it, I added them to my daily farms. And then like two days later, we got the double drops on the double drops. And I took him straight to seven stars in like five days. Didn't farm due to not accelerate it? Yeah. 106 shards out of 330 for Hera. Yeah, I really wanted to like at the beginning, at the very beginning, I was asking people like, "What's a what's a good dark side team?" Because I was clearing like light side battles and dark side battles, and I was kind of stuck on dark side. And somebody recommended like dark uh, Imperial Troopers, and I was like, "Okay," but then like Dark Troopers like single drops. Moff Gideon was single drop back then too, so I yeah. didn't really do too much. Uh, but well, I, I took Moff Gideon really to seven stars as soon as they made a double drop too. Yeah. Which, if you look at my Gideon, his speed, man, it's it's insane. I want to take a look at his mods. <clears throat> my I Gideon? See, I want to see your secondary speeds, yeah. Yeah, it, they're about to get crazy, too, because I'm, I'm hoarding. I'm literally one Cairo away from having a year 12 Gideon. All golden. Did you slice them, or were they? did they come golden? Most of those came golden. Like, this nice. is the luckiest mod set ever. 13, 14, 25. That's a good one. 18, yeah, it is. 19. I see. Damn, 25 speed, offense, health, tenacity. Yep. And he's got 135, damn. Yeah, and so once I take him to gear 12, he's going to gain another 3 speed, so that'll put him at 313. Um, uh, and then he's got... Are you sure? Yeah. He's so gear he's what? the last piece of gear that I have to put onto him uh, has 3 speed. It's a Cairo. Oh, oh, gear, oh speed gear 12. Build. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I thought you so meant once like I get relic, that last cause, Cairo shard... Yeah, because will... going from gear 12 to relic, you gain like a bunch more it's like 20 speed 20, so he'll yeah, gain 20 right. more speed there plus six plus it's, six plus eight yeah six six and eight so that comes out to 20 so yeah. that'll be 23 speed faster which will put him to 333 right. and then i'm gonna obviously slice all those mods up that he's got to six dots so he's gonna gain another seven speed because of the speed arrow we'll right, get two right. and everything else you get one yeah so that'll be 340 Maybe uh, more if you slice them further. Yeah, and then I'm going to slice them up further, and the yeah. odds that I'm going to roll at least one more at, time at on least, speed. At least, yeah. 
<laughs> I would be surprised if by the time, because I'm going to roll those mods a lot. I'm not just going to roll them once. Yeah. Once they get to out, I'm probably going to make them all blue or purple. Nice. Um, just to try to get the speed, because this mod set right now very well could be a 360 plus mod set if I just... It could be. Because, I mean, if I roll each one of those three times, that's 18 more chances to roll speed. All I got to do is roll speed four more times, and this is like a 360 plus mod set. Yeah. So I got like a 33% chance that I could be sitting on a god mod set. Right. My Moff Gideon is 309. His is 310, or 310. Is that your Relic 5 Moff Gideon, Legolas? And you may be interested to see this. Plus 115 oh. on my race scavenger. No speed set. Race scavenger. <laughs> oh god. I have uh oh, these are decent mods. Like some of them are are pretty decent. Like this one plus twenty six. I have a plus twenty eight here. Uh this one is only plus eight. Uh, this one's only plus five. This one is plus sixteen. But yeah, these these mar mods are gonna be removed. Like they're probably gonna go to Resistance Hero Bros. Uh, when I get them up higher, for the time being though, like it's it's probably the best use I can get from uh, out of these mods. Put them on scavenger. Yeah, really especially since she's a pilot. Yeah. Which reminds me. Can I get this last Cairo? Come on, baby, don't let me down. <laughs> my mods are decent on my aim troopers. Oh, hey, look at that. I can get it. My Gideon mm. is going to gear 12 as we speak. Nice. I need more of these Mark IV Sorrow sub keyboard salvages. Oh, snap. You went to 314. Whoo! What's 314? My Moff Gideon. Oh, nice. I forgot the speed set uh, is a percentage-based thing, not a flat stat. I'll just do that later. Yeah, true. So that yeah. three extra speed gave was enough to bump him into the next. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's mostly it, though, for today. Uh, what time is it? 9.48? Yeah. Uh, there's the YouTube link if you guys want to go check it out. Uh, it was... Thanks, thanks uh, everyone st for stopping by today. Uh, I gotta remember, I need to clip that failed attempt of Watt mission. <laughs> uh, but you should have recorded your mains. <laughs> yeah, I should have. It, it's okay though. Like, it'll happen. It'll sh like honestly, I think that was a bug, right? Like, it looks like a bug, unless yeah. if there's something special that I wasn't aware of. It would be uh, dope if tomorrow they like apologize and everybody gets five extra water <laughs> shards. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, you know what? Maybe yeah, we should tell CG. Yeah, complain about it. Go to the <laughs> but yeah, so we have all the stream replays on on YouTube. We have all the JC replays on YouTube. We have all the all the guides, all the highlights, and Discord will have the best emojis in the game. And I'll see you guys in. Three days, probably. I think it's three days. That was round three, right? I'll see you guys in three days when uh, the next round of GAC begins. I hope it's going to be a 3v3. I really, I really want to see a 3v3. Three, three three. Actually, fighting. no. I think that was, that was the it. That was the fourth round. That was the what? I think, I think we're having like a week. Um, I actually have the forums open right now. Let me get to the schedule. But I think... I think there's a week between GACs this next oh, week. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm literally uh, looking for the. I see. I've been farming CC cool. mods for JKL. I need to farm more CC mods. I need to farm more CC and CD mods. Yeah, week one starts on the fourth of April, so we got another week. Oh wow. Okay. Yep. That's that's actually pretty cool. That gives them time too to set up three v three. It actually, it's a 5v5 plus fleet. Oh, really? It says, it says yeah. It. <laughs> We're in the schedule. So I have a feeling that the May GAC is going to be a 3v3 GAC. 
they did announce in one of these recent whatever talks or updates that 3v3 is coming back for sure and i just wonder when that's gonna happen i wonder if it's gonna i wonder if they're gonna change okay. that to be next I think week when they announced like the fleet like the new gac set defense system where like it's preset so you don't have to like do it manually every day um uh, what do you mean i think that? they announced it with like 3v3 going on in that what's the fleet so, thing not having to set fleet thing you were talking about so like i think next gac on the 4th of april they're gonna they're doing an update where we're gonna get basically a new interface for gac really we're on like the yeah on the page where you like see rewards leaderboards and view current round like the grand arena page when you click on the hollow table i didn't know that yeah, so there's going to be a new tab that's going to say, like, defense or something like that. You're going to be able to go in and place your defense and change it. And uh, whatever you have set at the time of lock is going to be what locks in. Hmm. And it's also going to make it to where you can, like, I think there's going to be a way that you can, like, it's not going to lock your stuff until, uh, it's like you can make changes all the way up until GAC locks that week. I see. It's like Territory Wars. Yeah, kind of like Territory Wars, but I don't think you're going to have to back out. I think you just press like a little update button. I see. Is what it is. Interesting. Some quality of life change. Three yeah, that's three... literally what they call it. GAC quality of life changes. Oh, nice. 3v3 yeah. will be interesting, to be honest, now since I have more teams on my main. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait for 3v3. Like, I feel like... I feel like it's going to... I just feel like it's good for the game in general. Like people are gonna have yeah. to think about new new teams to to use and stuff like that. I actually was saying the other day. I think that the best thing that CG's done in a long time to make money was made it to where they need three fleets and Kyber because they finally they finally found a way yeah. to milk money from the top <laughs> and leave everyone else alone. Yeah, I saw that. Even yeah. that, like in Kyber, you should have. You should have a bunch of fleets, right? Yeah, you should. I mean, all the big, the top, like, community contributors are complaining about it. Yeah. And I'm like, like even Otto, like, I saw Otto enough. complaining about it, too. Or at least in the thumbnail. Yeah, it's like, it literally doesn't affect 90% of the player base. Yeah. And, and like, I don't know, like, Anno is in Kyber 1, right? I'm not sure how Kyber 5 is looking like, but I I feel like even then, like, because Anno has, like, more than enough fleets to, to, to do, like, 6. Yeah, well, there are there are some contributors that I watch that are, like, 3.5, 4 million GP that are up in Kyber. Not even Kyber 5, like, Kyber 4, Kyber 3. And they're just really efficient. Like, there's this one dude, he's running, like, a three-star Iden Versio with gear 11 troopers and taking out Relic Mon Mothma teams, like <laughs> nice. that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. They're like running hard counters for everything. One GL taking on like four GL opponents. Like that's one of the reasons I watch him because he's like very, you know, very technical and very right, high-end right. gameplay. Right. And it has to be for him to get wins. Yeah. And I uh, and the, I, like I'm interested to see what he's going to do because I know that he doesn't have the fleets to compete with six fleets, you know. Right. And who is this that you were talking about? Um, his name is Still Plays. Still Plays. I guess yeah. he still plays. Yep. I uh, I would just type in Still Plays Swago, okay. G A C on uh, YouTube, and he's got some videos about like I I actually found him when I was I was researching Nest. The first time, like before I even started unlocking it, um, he has a video on like this is probably six months ago about uh, high efficiency, low gear teams. Hmm. And I mean, I've been watching him for three months now, probably. I see. And he definitely does a lot of off meta counters. He has JML. That's his one. Yeah, I, I one. like watching people who know their counters. Yeah, he's definitely that guy, and he he's been losing a little bit lately. But even still, like it's no surprise. I wouldn't be surprised if he walked into every match and he loses, and some somehow he still walks away with wins against guys with like six yeah. million GP. He would not normally have a, or he shouldn't have a business winning against. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like he's just really good mods and really well put together teams. Right. Item Versio and leftover trooper squad is crazy. 
Yeah, that's probably him. Yeah. After Ray, it's it, it's going to be uh for me it's going to be like a wide open like ocean for me to go in whatever direction I want to go. And I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> That's going to be the unfortunate thing about going for Lord Vader first is like it's going to be a really fun grind to Lord Vader, but I have none of the units that go with Lord Vader. Yeah. Like I'm going to have to but I'm looking at it, I'm not far off. I'm I'm just going to have to bring up like uh Royal Guard, Thrawn, Vader and maybe crew or well, I'll already have Tarkin there. Because Tarkin's mm. a Relic 7 requirement for Lord Vader. I mean, I see Arnold running Lord Vader with, like, four tanks or something. Yeah. And, and that's what I was thinking about doing, too. Put it on but auto. <laughs> my fourth tank would probably be, like, Sword Trooper. Storm and, uh, Trooper? I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I, I know Arnold uses Storm Trooper. Yeah, Storm Trooper is decent. Um, but he's a Zeta. He's got a Zeta. And so I'm looking at, like, Royal Guard's a really good Zeta, like, for Lord Vader, because oh, yeah, he's one of the highest health right. units in the game. Yeah, and, and the I'm heal like, is really nice. Yeah, have you ever watched someone fight Lord Vader with a Royal Guard on it? I have not, actually. I've seen I've seen Royal Guard, I've seen uh, Lord Vader on, uh, on offense, but not, not defense. It's pretty nasty. Royal Guard can, you'll literally just sit there, attacking royal guard for like a minute and a half just oh, to yeah, get actually, yeah 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 I, i've seen arnold use uh, uh bounty hunters against lord vader and just like try to watch out royal guard, royal guard yeah. instead of killing him <laughs> yeah yep that's well, definitely how it goes yeah i think that's it for today uh i'll catch you guys next time i guess whenever whenever uh the next uh gac is gonna start or maybe i might even pop up uh one of these days and just to just to do something i don't know maybe i'll see i'll let the discord know if that happens uh that's yeah it's coming up in the next few days i bet what's that i'm sure there's some events or something like that coming up probably yeah maybe hmm i wonder nothing too major though i feel like there, there's no like conquest or anything no, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I think Bounty Hunter is one of the most underappreciated squad. I love Bounty Hunters. I like I've seen Zan taking out pretty much everything. And I know like I, I hear that Bounty Hunter can pretty much take out anything any non galactic legend legend team, even Galactic Legends, so Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Zam. So after I finish Especially in GAC, GAC, yeah. I'm going to take Grievous to Relic 5. And then once uh, once GT's to Relic 5, Zan is my next target. And I'm just going to run her with Gear 10 Bounty Hunters and then Gear 12 Bosk. Yeah. And, uh, she's going to be at her Relic requirements. I, I can't even tell you what it is off the top of my head. I'm sure it's Relic 7 because Lord right. Vader's stupid. But I mean, on my main after Ray, I'm probably going to farm Zam and bring my whole bounty hunter squad to relic five yeah i just i need that low efficiency team and right now bounty hunters is doing nothing but sitting on defense crowding my front wall yeah and uh that's another reason why like the lord vader grind is is going to really enhance my roster a lot because right. Zam with my bounty hunters will give me a team that I really don't have right now. Like I have the bounty hunters geared to level ten to twelve. They're just not very useful. Yeah. I mean, as long as you have Mando, because you don't have Mando up, right? Because as soon no, as you get contracts, Mando, you can one Mando shot someone. Six stars right now, and yeah. grief. I just got to seven stars, but neither of them are geared. Right. So. That but one that's... shot can come in handy, like not just against a, a weak team if you if you have like uh, low gear, but also if you have if you need to clean up anyone like a high relic character, you can just send in uh, like bounty hunters and man the one shot even at low gear. Well, yeah, and that's the nice thing about it. Like Zam, it really won't as long as they're as long as Zam is fast and they're fast enough and their right. turn meters right. are clocked right or right. their you know their turns are clocked right. Yeah. Um. It'll take a team that I'm not even using right now 
and give me a team that I can just obliterate teams <laughs> with. Yeah. So I have a feeling in about two months, a lot of teams that I'm currently using on offense will be on defense in place of other teams that I currently put on defense. Right. Yeah, because my, my current defense is garbage, pretty much. For, uh, for a while now, too. <laughs> yeah, mine's... I don't even have a 10th team. <laughs> like, this is my 10th team. I have literally... I have it literally under 5v5, and this is my 10th team. Bastila, Sean, Obi-Wan Kenobi. J and I sound like other Jedis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even have a 10th team, but... Really, in my alt, the one thing that's holding my GACs together and getting me wins is having Qui-Gon on the back wall, and Qui-Gon's at Relic 3, so he's really hard to kill. Right. Honestly, my next Zeta might be Qui-Gon. Yeah, I, I was... His gear yeah. at gear 12 is actually really easy. Like, he's almost worth taking to Relic. 12. Yeah. Because he's really squishy. Yeah. And you want him to live. Right. So, would you take Qui Gon first or or Anakin at the same time? Because I don't know. I would. So I I would do Qui Gon first because right now, I mean, you've seen. I send you all the screenshots for my Qui Gon holds. Right. I still don't have Jedi and Anakin to relic on like, that account. Would you do like one gear of Qui Gon first and then one gear of Anakin, or just take Qui Gon just straight to relic and then Anakin from like I don't know gear eight to relic? I would take Qui Gon straight to relic. Really? Okay. Because. He's going to gain offense, and when he dies and Anakin gets that bonus turn, all the offense that's transferred to Anakin comes from Qui-Gon's base offense. So most of his, uh, you're saying most of the the massive damage is coming from uh, Qui-Gon as opposed to Anakin himself? Yep. Okay. So Anakin's, none of Anakin's stats really matter much at that point. It all comes from Qui-Gon because when Qui-Gon dies, sense. Anakin's yeah. going to get a, a second turn. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then basically whatever Qui-Gon's base offense is, multiply that by four. That's what Anakin's going to be hitting with. I see. So like yeah. the only thing that gear levels really help at that point is tenacity on Anakin. Hmm. And that's like negligible. I don't really know his kid. Let me see. Like, sometimes I'll read some kits and then I'll forget because I don't use the team. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, he, yeah. The lowdown is is that he gives them 30, uh, 30 you know, that 30 speed. times their speed offense, but he also gives them 30 plus speed. Um, and then while they have foresight, it's doubled. So that's why, you know, Grandmaster Yoda and uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi are so vital to that team. I see. 400% of Qui-Gon Jinn's offense for two turns. Yep. I take so, one yeah. character at a time, and it will be more efficient, I think, but it depends on the person. Yeah, I I would just do Qui-Gon, because I, man, I wish that I could see the replays of people fighting my oh, team. Oh, yeah, right. Because <laughs> I, I look at GAC history, and what I see is a lot of damage on, like, Grandmaster Yoda and, and General Kenobi. And like General Kenobi makes sense because it doesn't matter how little health he has, as soon as you crit somebody else on the team, he's gonna taunt. So like I know that he's taunting all the time. Wait, what stat you're talking are you talking about? Um just just the team in general. Like I wish that I could watch people fighting the team. Did you because say that's the most say, frustrating thing ever? Wait, did you say most of your damage comes from Grandmaster Yoda and, and GK? No, so most of the damage is coming from the team as a whole. Cause like, I know that I've had like three holds with that team multiple times. So Qui-Gon's not even dying. Yeah. And with the amount of speed and extra offense from their speed, cause I have them all clocked to about 200 speed. So right. they're gaining like 6,000 offense because of that. Right. So like, even though they, they're like gear seven general Kenobi, He's a gear seven general Kenobi that's hitting with the offense of a relic five general Kenobi. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of stupid, you know, like as long as Qui-Gon has a lot of help, uh, nothing else really matters. You can run gear seven, gear eight Jedi with him. At least you, you can know, have a, you can probably have a level 
eighty five and gear six Qui Gon or、uh, G K, and he's gonna taunt all the time. <laughs> so my general Kenobi is.、Uh, let me go to my G A C. He's he's level eighty gear seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah. Like、my Grandmaster Yoda、talk. is level seventy-eight, year nine, and he's just there to pass out foresight. Foresight, exactly. <laughs> Kenobi, Kenobi grants foresight to people. So, like, if he's getting, if Kenobi's getting six thousand plus offense, um, just under the Qui Gon lead, when he has foresight, which he has a lot, doubles. Actually, yeah, he's get he's got twelve thousand offense. Yeah, not even including his base offense. Right. Like that's higher than a galactic legend. <laughs> <laughs> it's like thirteen five hundred is、Wait. what he's sitting at when he's got foresight. Oh, that's my Qui Gon. Oh, I didn't know. I took him up to 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 the to here already. It'd be it's worth it, man. I would throw that Zeta and stick his Omicron on. Hmm. Even that team would be a a meme. You would have to AOE the team. To death. Oh, I wish I had that many stun guns. Holy crap! You、uh, stun cuffs? You mean? Stun cuffs, yeah. You don't have stun cuffs? On my main, that's what I need right now. Really? Yeah, he's really stun cuff heavy. Wow. Oh yeah, right. Damn. I mean, I've been relicking like crazy. Some like a month ago. I I think I've put like seven relics on my on my main in a month. Like seven relic tunes, probably like thirty-five relic levels. Hmm. Something like that. It's been crazy. Taking them up. Required seventy-seven, seventy-eight. I should just bring them to eighty-five, but I don't have.、Uh, I do.、Uh, I don't know. Should I? I? I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> His gear is really easy, dude. Like. It, it seems like so. Yeah, so far. It's not very hard to get into gear twelve, and then from gear twelve, he's probably the easiest gear twelve character. Yeah, you're gonna see gear twelve、cheap. pieces that you have pieces for that you didn't realize you had pieces for because nobody else needs them. You're right. Yeah, these are these are so cheap. Like those things, those Nubian scanners are the hardest thing to put on him. He has like one of those at every level. Oh really? That's、yeah. the one where we got like a whole piece for free today. I think. Yeah. Like, that's so nice. <laughs> But he's definitely worth it. Okay, so the Zeta is twenty. I'm missing eight Zetas and one Omega. Okay, that's not too far. Yeah, next one is probably gonna go to Qui Gon, and then I'll put on the Omicron. Yeah, I mean, my Qui Gon Jim has already paid for himself on my alt account. Exactly. <laughs> he's gotten. He's、uh, gotten so many、check. holes. Like if I look at my profile,、okay. my stats, if you will. Stats, championship, successful battle defense. I have fifty three, and if I had to guess, over、oh, half、really? of those are from Qui Gon Jinn. Probably most of it from is from Qui Gon Jinn. Probably, yeah. I know that my my new lead team has gotten at least one hold. <laughs> Where's the stat? Where's the hold? Uh, it's like mid page. Oh, I see.、Um, defense fifty three. Yeah, I'm probably at sitting at ten. Because <laughs> I put trash on defense. Let me see. I wonder what my main is sitting at. I gotta go check. Oh, twenty four. Not too bad. Most of it is probably from fleet, for me. Yeah, yeah, it's very possible. Yeah. My main has. Oh yeah, fleet counts too. That's right. Oh, my main's got a hundred and eight defense. Nice. Hmm. I can actually. Let's take some time to find some mods. Might as well. For Qui Gon, just、yeah. give him all offense. Don't worry about speed because he doesn't gain the speed boosted offense. That right. Yeah.、Does. It looks like so far I have a offense set and a defense set. Oh yeah, with offense primaries. That's what I do. Yeah. My Qui Gon at relic three has ah fifty six hundred offense. How much? So he, fifty six hundred. So he's transferring twenty thousand plus offense to everyone on the team. <laughs> nice.、Uh, let's just take this to twelve for a second.、Uh, no flat offense. Oh, actually, flat offense. Nice. 
There we go. I'll oh, just yeah. leave it at level 12 for now. That's like exactly what you want. You want flat offense with yeah. offense percentage primaries and defensive stats everywhere else. Oh, that's a great mod. Which one? That that uh, triangle. This one right here? Yeah. I wish it had flat offense secondary. I guess it'll do though for now. Yeah, that'll do. I mean, I don't even know if all of mine are... Like if all of them, the ones that I have in my Qui-Gon have, Flat. see, that one does. Oh, well. Yeah, like one has defense, protection, health, and speed. Hmm, that'll do, I guess. One off. <laughs> my circle is a health circle that has offense and plus 117 uh, offense. <laughs> <laughs> For circle, protection is a little better, right? Um, I'm actually running health, and so I'm running a health circle. Yeah, I think health is better. I think he gets a higher, higher base health than protection. Hmm. Um, because my get... health and my Qui Gon is forty nine thousand with thirty four thousand protection. Hmm. You and plus you are going to get a lot of protection up from this team because Grandmaster Yoda. That's true. Jedi That's true. Him, Snips. Is all you want to do is keep Qui-Gon Jinn alive. It's not even about, like, it's just make everyone else fast and make Qui-Gon Jinn live. Right. Hmm. And the longer Qui-Gon Jinn lives, like, literally everybody else is invincible until he dies. Like, they can be debuffed. They can be annihilated. But they cannot be killed naturally. You know, you have to use like a Mando one shot or an Annihilate on them. Rexecute isn't even going to work on them. Right. Ooh. This one's nice, and but. Hmm. So just make it to where when they do get a chance to attack Qui Gon, they've only got one chance to attack Qui Gon, and they have to make it count. Yeah. Man, I need more mods. Yeah, I know the feeling. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a decent uh, health primary. I need a. Uh, actually, I'm missing a set. I Check guess I'll just put it sets. here for now. Health sets, that's true. I have a lot of health sets. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like defense is going to keep him alive longer, though. Uh. Maybe he's kind of squishy though. Yeah, so but, like, but, you know, do a armor. health. Actually, no. You know what? Do a health set because of the protection up. Yeah, but armor is gonna make the protection up stay longer as well. You know what I mean? It goes back to the EHP conversation. Yeah, but isn't armor a percentage based thing? And he doesn't have a high like he doesn't have armor built into his mastery. I just don't, I don't think, think it's it matters worth... though. Like he's at thirty one point like eight armor naturally at relic three. Uh so what are you gaining from the We can do some math actually if you want. Yeah, this is the easy math one. Cause like Like we can take ah oh, man, this is gonna be a lot of math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we could like actually do some math, like swap mods around and then do some math. But like, even under a Padme, oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Even under a Padme lead, it, like defense is more effective, and most people don't do it. You know what I mean? Padme gives yeah, fifty percent yeah. extra health. I'm just trying to figure out in my head what a. Per oh, I'm like looking at my health. mods, trying to figure out what a protection uh, set is worth. So twenty five percent defense, but twenty five percent. So twenty five percent of his base, which is like thirty one, is only gonna shed what a core. We'll call it thirty two. So it'll shed. 8% of incoming damage off. 
it's with a defense set. Versus a health set, which would give him ten percent more health. I guess it comes down to what's what the incoming damage numbers are. Like if it's a Rexecute, it's not going to matter. Right, but most of the time it's it's not a one shot. Right, but his health steal is fifteen percent. Oh, there's a lot of factors on this. There is a lot. I like if I had the two sets here, I can do I can do the match live. Yeah, I can make two loadouts and do the math. But like, yeah, uh, Darth Locator did the math on uh, Padme Elite. Like Padme Elite gives you fifty percent more health, and you would think that having more health makes sense. But actually, having more defense uh, is makes you tank here under Padme, and that's plus fifty percent health for everyone. Yeah, it's a strong case for defense. <laughs> yeah, I think at the high level, though, mastery comes into play a lot. Uh, and like Qui Gon's mastery doesn't really factor in at all on this, though. But like the Padme team in general, like what is Padme's mastery? You know, like if it has built in defense. Padme is, has defense pen and health steal. Where's Padme? Actually, hold um, on. this is probably short cut here. Let me what check. is Mace's built in mastery? Galactic Republic. Where's Padme? Protection resistance. Mastery inc increases accuracy, defense penetration, and health steal for Padme. So she doesn't gain any defensive stats. No, she doesn't. But, but defense See, like, is still better. Crew, I think crew might benefit from a a defense set with health well, primaries. In general, defense is just better, you know. Yeah, but there's certain times where it's not like Barris. Barris needs a health set because certain she shares her health with them. Like, yeah, a lot of her abilities are based yeah. on her health. So anytime like someone's sharing, you know, health right. based on their own health. Anytime when there's like a health based, like that's a main thing that you do. Like General Grievous, obviously you can't run an all defense set. Yeah. Or for Ray, you can't run an all defense on Galactic Legend Ray. But in general, if you want to make somebody tanky, you want to go defense. <laughs> yeah, like 69,000 of my 137,000 health on Grievous comes from mods. Right, right. <laughs> Over half. I just need to farm more, I guess. I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely do run more. I'm running more defense sets lately on both my accounts than I was before. But yeah, I like do what, still tend to. When I to first talked to you, I remember. Better, I like, remember. Usually you, it comes down to what health. the secondary stats are. And because we get so many more health, health mods than we do defense mods, generally I have better health primary or health uh health set stats than i do defense set stats twenty five percent defense from the set ten percent from health sets I'll look at it later. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's it for today. Uh, been a long stream, too. Wow, almost three hours. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace. <laughs> Bye.